I'm on early. <laughs> I'm always early. Hi. Turn my sound down. I see there's a couple of people here already. Thank you for the thumbs up, people that are here. I'm I'm on early a little bit, and I'm camera down today. Um, had a rough day. Oh, there I am. I'm I'm showing up now here. There. <clears throat> I have it. I moved some stuff back. Moved some stuff out of the way. Are you out there, Michelle? Hi. There's a couple people here. It says. There's a big delay going on on my computer today. Let me make sure my internet's hooked up okay. Yeah, it's good. How's everybody doing? Hi, Barb. Let me click on you and give you a... I'm going to make you a... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to get on a little bit. Um, Make you a moderator. Add moderator. So you'll have a wrench. Thank you for helping me. I really appreciate it. I'm early. I'm camera down. I, I'm going to be honest. I had my driver's license picture taken today. Oh, I, I look so much different with the weight gain on. That's not why I'm camera down. I'm camera down inside a rough day, guys. But I joined the gym today. <laughs> After looking at the picture of myself with 30 pounds on, I was like, oh, my God, that does not really look like me. I didn't have any makeup on, but yeah, I, um, okay, Michelle, I'll see you when you come back. Yeah, I did. I joined the gym. I went and checked their parking lot out. I wanted to make sure it was a well-lit area. It's a smaller gym and they have a really good fee, like the, a low rate that, um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Hi, um, hi everybody. Barb already said hi to you. Hi, Patty, Becky, Kirsten. Michelle, Deborah, Gina, if you're out there. No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> All right. I'm sure you guys. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kirsten, you you look. Oh, I know. There's. It's not only being thin. I know that. It's health-wise, too. Yeah. I, I'd have um, borderline hypertension now, and, um, and I can't handle. I'm having a hard time tolerating the medication. So I know that if I drop 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and start, you know, get myself more stabilized at a weight to where I used to be, that'll probably go away because it's borderline. I took it um, a few days in a row and I couldn't think straight the um, medication. But anyways, I'll get started in a minute. Hi, hi, Mike. Um, and hi, Deborah. You, you're a neat, I think you're new. I'll get started. If anybody has, I know Mike probably wants to see that for Lorenzo. But Barb, there, like I said, there are a couple of things that I decided I'm going to lower to start. I'll let you know which ones, like when I'm saying get you, I'll just say this price, you know, is different. <clears throat> How I'm going to do it is like, if I'll go under necklace, I might start with number six, you know, and you, I have it categorized so you can find it. This is my first typed list. Um, I like it this way. I think I'll keep doing it this way. I can track it easier. And when I add to my spreadsheet, it'll be much easier for me if I do it this way. So. Yeah, like when I go to necklace, I'll pick like number eight or something. And then I think I have most of the details the best I could anyways. Hi, Judy. It's not even eight yet. I guess I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait to start. I'm ready to start already. I'll wait till like five, ten after. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not getting anywhere near as much exercise since I haven't been cleaning as much. That was the starting with job. Um, definitely kept me in better shape. Hi, Nick. Yeah, I picked out a variety of things. I do have other jewelry, too. Um, hi, Margaret. Uh, is that your, what kind of bird is that on your shoulder? I was trying to look at that before. A parrot? Do you have a parrot, actually? It's cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Barb. Um. I figure I may be on three hours if you're able to stay that long. I'd appreciate it. If not, whenever I mean, I know you probably have to work. You may have to work tomorrow. <clears throat> I am working a job, but we're starting it later in the day. Okay, he's cute. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'll start in a couple minutes. I'll, I'll give it a few minutes. Okay, yeah, I, I probably won't stay after that unless they, I don't know, I I found some 
I'm not, you know, I'll show that stuff later. I guess I found a couple of nice pieces of jewelry on the jewelry wall today. I was surprised. I went on when they were getting ready to close. It's like Barrera. Um, it's a brand. I found a really nice price on a really, really nice pair of earrings. And I tried pricing them. The prices are all over the place, so it's hard. But yeah, I found a nice Coro necklace. A few things I stopped. Um, where's... I stopped on the way home. The first one I went to had nothing. The second one, they had some. The lady's been out sick. I tried getting an application for the jewelry room. <laughs> I'd work in the jewelry room in a thrift store just for like eight hours a week. I would have two four-hour shifts or something. Not that they're going to allow me to do that, but I would. Because then I would have, you know, access. You have to buy it like um, if nobody else buys it tonight before you're able to buy it in the morning and that's why i'm not saying somebody stuck this jewelry i found on the wall at last minute but the way it was priced it's worth a lot more um and there happened to be a few bags with like a number of pairs of earrings and stuff like hanging up there <clears throat> and it was at the end of the day because i was told that when they, they go in in the morning and they can buy whatever they want i'm not saying a person hung them up so they could buy them but whatever i i ended up getting them <laughs> i was excited hi deb so this is actually an auction today where I will do a starting price and it's $2 increments and then five after 50 and then 10 after a hundred. I, if we get to a hundred, I don't know if that'll happen. Um, but I do PayPal invoicing and I I'll invoice tomorrow morning. I'll get up pretty early. I'll be invoicing before I leave the house for the day. Um, I do have a quick job tomorrow, like three hours, me and my middle daughter, but uh, yeah, so I'll get those invoices done before I leave for that job. And then um, if you pay up until like 8 a.m. Monday morning, or not Monday, I'm so sorry, Wednesday morning, I will have everything shipped out Wednesday. If it comes in after, that's fine too, and then it'll just go off the next day. That's all. But if you have not bought off me before, my email is... Hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. If that does, I can take that off. That's scrolling. Somebody told me that makes them dizzy. If you're here, um, let me know. I'll take it off that person. I, you know, some people can't handle that. But anyways, there's my email. If you've never purchased anything off of me before, um, I just email me. I just need your YouTube name, your PayPal email, and then the country in which you live. That's all I need. Everything else clicks up in PayPal there. Unless you don't have a PayPal account, then give me your address as well. Um, you can still pay uh, when the invoice comes to your email from PayPal. You can pay for credit card too. I've I've had people do that. But it's eight oh three. Okay, Barb. Um, I guess I guess I wait a couple more minutes. Most people wait five or ten minutes. Okay. Too many comments causes helps cause delay. You think? Oh, well, I believe that. So, Barbara, how are you going to do that? Just like enter like the the starting bid and then sold. That's how a lot of people do it. Um, and I will use my I my child's timer. My daughter's sand toy. It's approximately one minute because I tend to move real fast. I may turn this over twice to wait two minutes in between. You know, with without a bid once okay this isn't a buy it now so it doesn't matter so i will let it go through once and if i twice it's like a minute and a half two minutes i think each item should at least have that long if nobody bids on it within that time then um we'll move on no I'm, i forgot to mention that sorry thelma ha has another engagement that she has to tend to so she is not here tonight um but hi nutter are you going to leave now? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, Thelma had, had a per, has something she had to take care of today. So Barbara Barbara Donald is helping me in the chat. Um, you, well, if you want to, yeah, um, that's good. I was joking about that, Nutter. Um, I know your real name. I don't know if you want to be called that, um, but I do know what your name is. What was I saying? Oh, my God, I'm so confused. Oh. If we have any trolls pop in, anybody is welcome to report and delete them. <laughs> I've seen some crazy things happening on different channels. I haven't had anything too bad. I had somebody come on last week and said they were in a, thought they were in a dating site. I 
very bizarre. Um, and someone said they reported me. Yeah, it's Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Yeah, um, so I'm hoping I don't get it. If I do, I do. I mean, whatever. Everybody else is getting it. So I've, I've heard some stories. So I'm like, oh, my God, uh, just rude. But I guess it's entertaining to people. Um, and they have nothing better to do than harass other people. I, I can find a lot of other things to do with my time. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to, it's five after, but I'm going to get started. I'll start with something simple. Um, I have some variety here, different things. Let me, what should I start with? <laughs> I'll start with a necklace. Hi, hi, Rose. Um, I'm going to start with a little, uh, and this one I was going to lower a little bit. It's with the Carnelian and Sterling. Um, I believe it's, it's Carnelian. It is a stone. Okay. Um, it's not, it is not amber. Um, it's glass uh, material, but it's a stone. I tested it and it looks like Carnelian to me. So I was going to, um, Barb, this one I will, uh, I'll start this at 25 instead of 30. I think that's a good uh, price. But it's Carnelian. Pendant is sterling and so is the chain. The chain is marked, um, okay, wait, 925 Italy. And it's one of the rounded, like, ones. It could probably use a cleaning. Oh, you, you like your lot. I'm, I'm glad you like that. Okay, what was I saying? Um, are you ready, Barb? I'm not mean in a rush. All right, let me give the details of it. Um, Carnelian, <laughs> sterling, it's one and one half inches to, from the bail down. And then the chain itself is 17 inches. And that looks really far away. Let me hold it up. But a uh, starting bit of 25 on this instead of Mr. Carnelian. Number 12. I'm sorry. Number 12 to Cornelian pendant with sterling chain. All right. Let me get this little box here. Um, Barb, were you going to write that in the chat or do you want me to? And then that looks really far away. Let me lower this a little. Let me have it closer. Okay, thank you. What happened to your wrench? Do you still have a wrench? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I can't see it on on the stream yard. Hi, D. Yeah, this is the... Um, here's the pendant. Okay, thank you. I couldn't see your wrench. You can't see the wrench on stream here. There's the stones, Carnelian. Um, it, this could use a cleaning. I didn't clean it. I was seeing if the uh, if that had anything marked on it. I don't think so. It is a sterling chain though, too, and a sterling pendant with Carnelian. I want to see how how that looks on my. I don't have a ring light right now. Um. Yeah, the chain length is 17 inches, and it's marked 925 Italy on it. And this is one inch from the bail down. And you see Barb put the bit in there. It just looks so far away to me. Does my lighting look okay to you guys? I don't have a ring light at work. I, I need to buy myself a better one. I'm not, this thing is not helping either. My lighting looks bad on the phone to me. Looks dark. All right. I don't see anybody interested in this. It's been a little while, right? Let me, let me turn this over. Just wait. I'm trying to pace myself. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad it looks good over there. I probably should have shined up the pendant. There's the back. Um, I don't think, hi, hi, Stella. Or star. I don't think it has any markings on the pendant. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. So I, I don't see any interest in this. So I'm going to move it. If anybody comes on and sees it, you can contact me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I just saw that.
Yeah, if there's a morphine, it's on the inside of the pen. It's on the chain. But they, I tested them both, and they are sterling. All right. Well, I'm going to skip that one. I didn't see any interest in it. Um, and I waited long enough, I think. I will do. And, Barb, you're allowed. If you want, you can still. You're still allowed to um, bid if there's anything you wanted. Um, I'll do a pair of earrings. I have Zuni. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we'll pass on if you can't be once. These ones I don't have marked as Zuni on the sheet, Barb. Um, but the for the earrings, it is number uh number four turquoise and mother of pearl sterling inlay. They're marked Zuni. Let me put them on the earring um thing and show them to you guys. They are marked Zuni and um MC. These are three quarter inch, and I will start these at the uh, the thirty two. I think they're worth that. Let me see if I can show you guys just the um the scraping in there. Where is it? Um, my nails are a mess. I probably should painted them. Hold on a second. These could use a cleaning as well. I don't. I get. I get a little bit afraid to clean things. Let me. See. I'm trying to find the scratching. You know how they scratch the the information in there with the. It's gonna be hard to see, but it's in there. These are, this uh, Zuni scratched in there in MC, and they are mother of pearl and turquoise, and I guess that would be, like onyx in there. I think as well. There's what they look like. They're three quarter inch this way. Let me put them on the thing and I'll show them to you together. They have a, they have sterling backings with them as well. Yeah, I didn't. I'm afraid. I mean, I get. A, I'm afraid of cleaning anything with a stone. Honestly, I mean, I could Q-tip it, but somebody if somebody buys them, they could do it themselves. Yeah, these are very nice. They're three quarter inches this way. They're they're parasites. They're like a what do you call that? Like a a hoop, I guess. A half of a three quarter hoop. Yeah, my nails need done. I've I've been working and they're a mess. Um, they break off. Is anybody else interested in these lovely Zuni signed Zuni MC back there? They actually have the signature and, and I tested them. They are sterling. You can tell by looking at them, but I did test them. <laughs> they're very nice. They're a lovely combination. Is that a good view? <clears throat> I've got to eat myself a, um, oh, you're a retired, do you live in Pittsburgh area, Pennsylvania? I, once I, when I clean, they just get, they get bad. I, I ripped a couple off. It's, it gets rough. <clears throat> I'm not a real big nail polish person either, but I put nail polish on them to hide the sight of them sometimes. But when I didn't have, I, I wasn't, I don't know. I, I like clear or light nail polish. Okay, these are, they are very pretty. They look good on the inside too. You can see the signature in there. It says, um, let me put them down. I feel like, well, thank you. I, I feel a mess. I've gotten, I just feel huge after that picture today. I mean, I can't believe it. My daughter teased me. She was, it was my hair mainly too. It just was out of control today because of the weather. It gets crazy. These are very nice earrings, well made and um, lovely. I'm looking for a pair of earrings to match my little my ring. I I have a pair. I actually have a nice pair I bought from Thelma on right now. They have the little fetish bears on them and they're turquoise and um coral. Oh, thank you, thank you. I love the, I do like the earrings, but I haven't worn them yet, so I figured, so why not? All right, so somebody passed and somebody is out. Um, we're at B34 with Lori. Does anybody else want to come in at 36? Am I too close to the camera? It looks so far away from where I'm at, and then I'm looking, I'm like, wow, I'm really close. They look, they look nice with that black, um, 
All right, I think 34 is the last. Is there, I don't know who else was, Lori? That's Lori. Nutter, you're out. That pass means you're out. And I guess Patty is out, so it would be Lori Wolf at 34. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Barb. All right, Lori. Um, Lori, have I, if I have sold to you and I don't remember, I'm really sorry. But um, because I don't recall your name, it takes me a while sometimes, a few sales. But if you have it, please email me at the email address scrolling along the bottom. And um, I just need your uh, PayPal name, you know, PayPal email address, YouTube name, and the country in which you live to make sure. Shipping is $5, um, so you guys know. Unless you're outside the United States, and I have a lot of people in Canada, it's 15. I can I can manage it for that. All right, so 34 to Lori. And these are the Zuni. I, I didn't realize they were Zuni until um, I was looking at them. Okay, thank you, Lori. The backings are nice on them, too. They could use a cleaning, but you can, I'll leave you do that yourself. Just, you know, the stone with the turquoise, I... I said I don't want to do any damage to them. All right. So I have, let's see. I will do, um, I'll do a bracelet. Is anybody interested in Bakelite that's here? I know Adrian collects it, but I don't think Adrian's here today. Um, I haven't seen Adrian here. But I'll show that eventually. Let me start with something else, I guess. Um, I have a slider bracelet. I know a few people were interested in that. You do like Bakelite too? Okay. Yeah, let me show the Bakelite then. Why not? If I'm pronouncing it right anyway. Did you see my video where I tested it, Mike? Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Lori, and, and congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for your bits. I, I tested this on video. Um, It's, it's Bakelite, or Bakelite, however you pronounce it. Okay, it's a bangle. <laughs> this one is number on here is number, um, if it's number nine, the Bakelite carved uh, bracelet. I've had this for a while. It's two and three quarter inches across this way. Here's how it fits my arm. I have a, I have a six inch wrist. This would fit somebody up, up to a, a larger size, over an eight. But there it is. It's pretty cool. Um, I was starting this at $65. It's a Bakelite carved bracelet. It's number nine, Barb, um, on my list of bracelets. It's pretty nice. This was, I got this on my first shop, um, Goodwill bag that I got. And it's a nice one. Yeah, I've tested it a number of times. You know, it doesn't damage it. Um, I use the baking soda and water to test it. Um, I like baking soda better to test it, honestly. But if anybody's interested, 65 on this. I don't know if you guys remember my video, my first bag of jewelry. I dropped half it on the floor. Huh. <laughs> it's gotten a little better. <laughs> my presentation for Tencent. But yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's unique. Um, I've seen black carved in other colors. It's just never like with the additional on it. And hi, hi, Dawn. And like in here, I did test it in my video so um, everyone could see that it was Bakelite, you know, because I'm fairly new and I expect everybody to believe everything that I say. But it is. Um, I'm going to turn my little thing over and see. I'll wait that amount of time. If nobody bids in, we'll just pass on it. It's nice. Yeah, but I don't collect it or anything. So I figure if somebody like collected it, they might want it. It's heavy and I'm not, you know, it's not heavy, but, you know, it feels substantial. But yeah, I, hi, Dawn. Thank you for coming. I'm trying to hold this without... Was 65 too hard of a high of starting? But I've had this online. I've got to put it back on eBay. 
I'm not much into eBay. I prefer Mercari, which I know is a smaller site, but I've been on there for a year. Um, yeah, this I found in a shop Goodwill bag. I have another one coming. It looks like it has a couple of interesting things in it, but I don't see any interest in this. So, and I think it's been at least a minute or two. Yeah, Barb's helping me. Thank, I really appreciate it. Thelma has had a um, another engagement. Yeah, with the Bakelite, since I really can't tell by smelling it, I actually started taking like um, 409 on a cloth inside of a baggie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this down. I'll get this back online. Um, I do, but I think I'm crazy at the thrift store, I think. I just bring everything with me. Um all right, is there anything anybody wanted? To, okay, okay, let me show you this little thing. I don't know. Uh, it's another bracelet. I, I don't know how to date this, like, at all, um, honestly. It's a, uh, it has a little tassel. It's a slider bracelet. Okay, um, this one is, uh, It's three inches, like when I open it up all the way, it's over three inches. It's fairly big. I mean, it can be worn on a bigger arm. It's not big. It can be worn on a smaller wrist as well because it is sizable. <laughs> you see, there it is, like, opened. Okay, so mine's six inches. So, I mean, and this part comes down to keep that from dangling like that just the tassel dangles but when i have it opened all the way it's measuring like three inches a little over three inches this way it's a nice bracelet though i like i said i don't know how to date it um at all but i was going to start it at 32 dollars if anybody's interested that is a faux pearl let me try to get you guys close up of it Here's the back. It has a little discoloration here. I haven't really tried to do a lot of cleaning on it, but it's a nice bracelet if you're a collector of these um, sort of thing. Yeah, it's very pretty. Somebody said possibly um, Prairie Victorian Revival from, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it could be older. I have no idea. <laughs> the underside, I can't open it up all the way, but that's that's that. You mean this part, Dawn? Right there. This slides over and there's the back side of it. It has no markings on it whatsoever. Um, no, you know, like a hallmark type of thing. It has, that's the side, the bottom. Oh, I got a bid from Dawn. You know, this is good, guys. <laughs> it is pretty. I, you know, I find this in the jewelry box that I bought off somebody online. I got a few good things in there, actually. I mean, it was well worth the money. I like the old jewelry box. But it is very lovely um, piece of jewelry. So I have a nice Pamela set coming from, this is for the cat. Oh, you, you know what? Yeah, why not? You could wear this on your cat. I never even thought of that. Fur fur would look lovely in that. <laughs> it would probably fit. <laughs> yeah, she has, she didn't like the, uh, she doesn't like the color. All right, so Dawn's out. And Kirsten Red was at 42, and I don't think anybody else was bidding on it from that point. So Kirsten, I just got your information today. All right. All right. Yeah, the jewelry box, some of it, the Coro's really beat. Um, or the listener, I think it was. It's missing a stone, too. I could use it for, I'm, I'm trying to repair jewelry. I've never done it, but I have a few nice pieces I'm trying to fix. But all right, so we'll, if we could call it done for Kirsten, then I'll start getting your bag ready. But thank you for your bids, and thank you. Um Kristen. 
Okay, that was 42. Okay, and this is the slider. I have a nice Pamela set from um, Monet. I'm going to lower the starting bid barb on that one. Maybe we'll do that one next time. I, um, hold on, let me staple this. I'll pull that out next. It's, I think it's nice. I, um, I was excited when I found it. It is in the book. This is a book piece. Um, this is, uh, let me find a thing. Sorry, I'm stuttering here. Oh, I'm already wrapped it up and everything. <laughs> Thank you, Barb. I'm so, um, I'm always moving too fast. Look, this has an original. It is called Monet Adjust Spy. It's pretty cool. And here's the necklace. Let me put it up here. That is that. I'll pull it up high. Um, it has the little tassels. And then there's a matching bracelet. When I, I if, if you're welcome. Thank you, Kirsten. Kirsten, I'm sorry. I looked this up in the book. It's on page 186. It's the Pamela Slider set, they called it. They, they first brought it out in the 60s. And they carried it on into the 70s. This one is like in brand new condition. So has, this comes off. You can actually take it off. There's the hallmark back there. It has the copyright after the Monet. And I think it's on caps. You could see it in the book if you're interested. Um, I'm going to lower it. Um, I'll start to set at 40. The bracelet is 7 inches. And in pristine condition with the tassels. It's like brand new. Somebody left this in a box. And the necklace is 22 inches, a 13 inch drop total. And again, it matches the bracelet. And it's in new condition. I mean, I always feel like I'm so far away, but mm. let me pick it up. It's nice if you're a collector and don't have one of the Monet. Yes, it is a book piece. Yeah, I was excited to find it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I found it one of my late night uh, visits on the websites. And everything's intact and it looks brand new. Like, like nobody's ever even worn it, but this is 60s, maybe 70s. Um, Where's, let me put this on the neck. So, Pamela's okay. I see you're at 40. If anybody else is interested, it, I do $2 increments if anybody else is. I decided to lower it. I, I got it at a good price. Um, it's definitely worth that, though. Let me see one. Hi, hi, Sharon. Yes, it does still have the safety chain. It's in, like, brand new condition. Like, somebody, this was in a box. There's the little bracelet with the... Yeah, the safety chain intact. And this is nice because the safety chain will come off for you to put it on. You know, some of the really old ones, they, they don't come off. But this one, it's actually removable. The length, oh, I'm sorry. The length of the bracelet is 7 inches. And the necklace is 22 inches around the neck with a 13-inch a drop. So the tassels, you know, give it an additional. What do you mean the necklace and backup bracelet? Why does this, um, Barb already has this? It's nice. There's the back of the bracelet. It's a fold over clasp and it still has the tag on it, which is really cool. I thought it just slide. <laughs> and the bracelet doesn't have the tag, but they, they clearly they're a set because they look alike. Well, the brace, the necklace has an extra ring of those. Um, I can't tell if it's, uh, hold on, rhinestones are not down there. Let me look. All right, so who, that was, um, one second, delay one, one person bid that was Pamela. Pamela, if, if I haven't um, bid uh, sold to you, can you email me? I just need your uh, PayPal email address, your YouTube name, and the country in which you live. YouTube, and PayPal does give you everything else. Um, 
I think it's just cut like that. Yeah, Pam, you're the only bid. Um, is any, no, I don't think anybody else is interested in it. That's that's fine though. Forty bucks is good for it. That's what I was comfortable accepting. That's why I started. <laughs> it's a nice set. You you won't be disappointed. But hold on. Okay, thank you, Pamela. Did you come over from Thelma's today? After Thelma did her jar opening, I had a number of people come over to my way. I couldn't hear what she was saying towards the end because my Bluetooth was hooked up and I need a new iPhone. Something weird's going on with it. But that didn't work. All right, thank you, Pamela. Let me um let me write out your slip here, Pamela. Hi, Lori. Yeah. You should have told Adrian. <laughs> Adrian collects this, doesn't she, I think? Um, yeah, I know you have. I can imagine you have a lot. I I mean, I, I, I have. I can't lie. I'm starting to keep more and more. I try to say I don't, but. I do sell a lot of it, but I have been keeping some. Um, it's hard. And I didn't have much jewelry when I started out. So that was 40 bucks. Due to personal situation that happened to me. But yeah, um, it is nice. I liked it. I'm not really, um, that's that's a nice, I mean, if you're a collector. I don't really, I don't collect Monet. I have some of it, but. All right. What's next? Does anybody have an interest in anything? In particular, should I just keep going with it? Um, that was a necklace. Let me do. How about this big thing? This is nice. Look, I know somebody was interested in this last week, and I pulled it back because I didn't know what it was. Hi, Michelle, you're back. Um. Okay, Barb. Let me work with you. I'm sorry. Uh, this is. You know what this is. You've seen it. It's number five. <laughs> On the brick. Uh, the brooches. Harry Iskin Goldfeld brooch. I think it's one, um, like, 20% 12 is how those are. It's partially worn off on there. But it is Harry Iskin, so I was a actually able to find this. No, this isn't Native. Oh, do I have any Native American? Um, I don't know. I have a modernist necklace. It's kind of cool. Yeah. 40 starting bit on this. Let me give the measurements on it. Uh, three inches this way and two across. It's a lovely, it's big, and I think it's lovely. It is glass. This is not aquamarine. If it was, um, it would be worth a lot more money than it. But it's nice and clear, and it, it looks good. Let me put it on my handmade pillow here. Um, <laughs> It, it sticks easiest one short. Sure. Let me show you guys back closer. Okay. There's the, it says the H and I, and um, it has the gold filled marked around there. I, it's partially worn off, but let me show it. That's the back, the front again. I'm going to put it on the pillow. Yeah, it's a big, large, and in charge one. Three by two, three inches by two inches. You'll bid 40 on it, Barb. All right. Yeah, you're allowed to bid on anything you want. Um, you're you're a regular you're helping me i appreciate it very much it's cool this one's um i ended up paying up on this one a little bit i thought it was fantastic and i sometimes i'll take a chance on something when i see it online because i've bought things that were advertised incorrectly like my amber heart that i found um it looks like antique. Uh, yeah, that was somebody said it was a piece of plastic with some uh, something floating around in it. And I bought it, and I actually got that cheap. But occasionally, I take chances, you know, because you never know. It's it's a very lovely pin brooch. This is a brooch. I'd call this a brooch. It's big enough to fall under that category. And it looks like an aquamarine. It's not. 
That would be a really big one. All right. I don't see anybody. Well, okay. Let me turn over my sand timer. It is large and in charge, isn't it? Look at it. It's just big. I looked big in my driver's license pictures, guys. I should show you the comparison. Uh, four years ago and 30 pounds later, I was frightening. Plus, I had no makeup on. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, I'm taking up the whole screen. It was my hair. My hair was frizzy today. Mm. Looked rough. Oh, these at 41. Well, 40, it's $2. Uh, $2. It doesn't matter really, but yeah, $2 increments. It would probably be better just hop around from $5, but I started it too, so I'll keep it that way. Um, but this is lovely. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Well, no, it's it's the weight gain. Hi, hi Lynn. It, Michelle, the weight gain. You told me you lost some weight lately. Oh my God, it's the weight gain. You should see. Yeah, I used to be 100 pounds. I do have a necklace that kind of looks modernist. Yeah, you can be this expert on that and tell me what you think about it. I'll sh I bring it up next. It's nice. It has an amber ball on it. And it's pretty cool. It's a torque. And you pull the one end of the torque off to get the um, the pendant off. And then it goes back on. And that piece that comes out, it's marked 9252. It's, I've never seen anything like it. I'll show it to you guys, um, ladies next and gents. Is Mike still here? He probably wants to see that Florenza brooch. Um, I'll bring it out. All right. Who, where were we? We were at 43 for Barb. Um, D, did you want to go to 45? You know, the person in your community, Barb, tell them to buy me pillows. <laughs> I'm so joking. I need pillows. <laughs> I, they're cheap. I, I can afford that. I'm just joking. I was thinking I made this pillow out of like a fabric, like a satiny thing. That's why I said that. Yeah, I'll show it to you. I think it's modernist. I'll touch. Okay, so this is for Barb. Then comment down to yourself, Barb. <laughs> I'll give it to you for the 40. You're, you're doing your work helping me here. Okay. Um. All right, Barb, um, I'm going to write it up for you. Hi, Annie. Did you ever find your torque, Annie? I was wondering about that. Um, I, I've still been looking. Okay, Barb. It's just a hairy iskin. I'll bring up the uh, necklace next. Looks modernist to me. I. Okay. okay, let me put your last name. There's a couple other Barbs occasionally on here. Okay, that, is that funny saying sold to yourself, sold to Barbara Donald? Or... All right, thank you. It's an, it's nice. Um, oh, here it is. I, you can tell me what you guys think about this. To me, it looks modernist. It is number, on the necklaces, it is number, uh, oh my, where is it? Yeah. Oh, number two on my list. Right here. This is nice. Look at it. It's pretty cool. Let me show you. Um, I fluoresced it in my video, but I just like doing it. And it does. It does light up a little in here. It's it's a nice piece of amber. Like I said, honey amber, I think. But there it is. Let me show it to you guys closer. Um, like this is the piece that comes off. I tested it all, and it's sterling. This piece comes off of here, and. Let me hang this up for a second and show this to you. It's pretty cool. It's it's really cool to me. Um, it's marked. I can't see. One second. I need my um my broken loop. It says nine two five, and it has some. I don't know if this means Denmark. There's like a D on there in something I cannot identify. Okay, that's on that piece. This test of sterling. It's really cool. This goes comes out of there it looks differently than the other piece because it's the piece that pulls out and you can take this piece off and this has the same thing it's like a d and something else on it let me try to read it to tell you guys what it says it's it's a nice nice necklace i've never seen one like it before and the torque is nice it, it, and it looks it looks brand new i don't know if it is but all right it says I'm trying to tell you guys what it says back here um 
I'm thinking Denmark. I, I can't say for sure. 925. Here's a big D, capital D, and something else that I cannot read on the clip. And it goes in here. Let me give you the measurement on it. It fits. It'll fit next. I mean, it fits me. I know I've seen your size. This will definitely fit you. No problem. Um, I mean, you're taller than me, but you're thin, thinner than me. I know that. Um, it is a 15 inches approximately going around. And I think at D and there might mean Denmark. That's my guess. Don't They're pretty well known for jewelry. Um, it's pretty cool, though. I found this at the thrift store in the counter, and I was excited. There was a woman in there right before me. It sold jewelry, and I'm like, I couldn't believe she didn't buy it. Yeah, $10 after $100. Um, I was surprised she didn't buy this after when I heard she sold jewelry. I was just shocked. <laughs> I was like, I probably would have. Um, Yeah, Dawn has quite the collection. I was on her galaxy the other day looking at the things that were sitting in there for a while. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of nice stuff. It is nice, though. And, you know, you have you have quite the, you, have, you can wear this for a while, then turn this around, I'm sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is nice, though. That's a ball. Pretty cool. And back here it says he has that big D in the 925 and something that I cannot read. But. All right. Nutter's out. So it'll be Dawn. If, unless anybody else wants to come in. Um, I didn't see anybody. I'm going to turn this over. My 45 second sander. It is nice. I was happy to find it. You'll be all right, Dawn. You can, you can, always, I think this would probably hold it some, hold that price up. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. And I think that might mean um, Denmark in her. I don't know. You can look at it. Oh, D's in at 140 now. I cannot read it. Let me try to read it again. It disturbs me that I don't know what it means. I saw D come in. Did you see that, Barb? Let me move this. D. Miller's in at 140 there. There's must be a leg. I'm trying to read what this says. Tanya? Who's Tanya? Congrats, Tanya. Did you mean Dawn? Oh, D. Yeah, D is in. Um, I don't think there's a Tanya. Or is Tanya here? I didn't see her come in. Yeah, I don't know what that says. <laughs> Whenever you get it, you can read that. This is one I have to get a special box for. This is something I will want to ship um, safely. Make sure nothing happens to it, like that little ball. Oh, you do have a couple already? I saw Tanya was selling... Um, Tanya over was selling a few of them yesterday. I was in and out of there. You're thank you. Okay, so Dawn's in at 150. Yeah, this isn't something I find in the counter too often. Something like that. I did find a couple of nice things that day, Lou. I found a Swarovski necklace. It's pretty nice and in a nice Trafari Cuneo. Don't ask me to pronounce it. I'd have to look it up. Matsa Masuto or something like that. I found one of his necklaces and I found a pair of earrings today um, as well in the same place. So somebody had a collection going on at this store of some of his jewelry. All right. I'm going to turn the sander over and give D a couple minutes. And Or D, are you out or are you still in? I'm not in, I'm in top chat. Let me fix that. I have my laptop on the side. I'm working on getting the computer hooked up. So I'm using one piece. Mary, right, yeah, I don't see DD must have changed or maybe changed your mind or something. You're thinking. 
thinking is it worth it the thing is is i don't know what to compare it to because i <laughs> that's i started it low i didn't know what it was worth um but it's de- i think it's definitely worth that it's in good shape it's no cracks or anything going on here in the ball of amber all right you're eating cereal i yeah i'm i'm, join- I'm starting a gym this week guys i will be updating you on my weight loss <laughs> choking right <laughs> Oh God, I just can't believe um, the way my ID looked in it. <laughs> just terrible. All right, thank you, Dawn. I will wrap this very carefully for you. It's a lovely necklace. That'll look nice. And it might be, I think it could probably sell for more than that at some point. Yeah. Well, that I, I know that's worth that. I mean, I do know. I, I'm not wealthy, but I can see quality. When I see it, I can tell what it is. Um, that's nice. That's a nice necklace. I was lucky to find that where I found it. It's hard. Okay, so next um, is if, I don't know if, uh, I do have the Florenza. Did Mike leave? Or are you still here, Mike? When you're here, tell me, yeah, you want to see the Florenza. Um I, but he collects it. That's why I was asking him. But thank you, Donnie, and congratulations. It's a very nice necklace. Yeah, one in and one out. I, I do that, too, on, on my... If I sell enough, I can keep something I like. I don't see my care, though, so I'll wait until it comes. Has anybody... Well, maybe I should go to earrings instead of a necklace. I have no rings tonight, guys. You want to see the front Florence? Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to bore you with all the loose sight and all. <laughs> you probably, yeah, here it is. Um, let me give you the details. This is a, um, thank you, Barb, again, for your help. It's very nice. You're going to like it. It's It looks like pristine condition, too. There's no scratching up of that or anything. It's in great shape. Um, oh, this is a two and one half inch. I was this is yeah you found it before me okay there it is these are glass turquoise look it's two and one half inches long this way is that a good picture of it let me stick it on my black pillow um to show it to you it's nice florenza florenza's nice jewelry um i have a necklace i have to touch up that i bought off somebody when i touch that up i'll sell that that but I want to touch up the gold in the front. It looks, it's a little scratch. This, in, on the other hand, is in, in perfect condition. There's absolutely nothing. Uh, let me show you the back. Nothing wrong with this. It's clean and um, no scratching on it. And it says Florence uh, right up here in the corner. There's the homework. Let me. Here it is. It's lovely. Mike, I love Florenza. I had a brooch. Um, I sold it to a young lady on Mer Carey. She wanted to wear it as a necklace. And it looked similar to this, but it was solid. Like, instead of being, if this is a dangle. It is, and it's full. Their jewelry, it's well made. You can see. Um, there's nothing missing or anything, but. Yeah, I, I worked. I, I, you know what, I, I decided I got up and I, I looked through my stuff <laughs> and I decided to try to turn it down. I have some, I don't know. I probably showed my best items. We'll see. I have more to come though. I found some fantastic earrings today. I mean, it was, they're nice and I don't know why they were on the wall. Um, <laughs> I think the girl was trying to buy them in the morning. Yeah, this would look nice on black. It's on black now. It's very lovely. Okay, Mike, I think Mike, well, not that I'm saying let's just give it to Mike, but I don't see anybody else in. I'm going to turn over my sander and if nobody else comes in. I know he's a collector of them and 36 is a good buy on this. I think they're, um, I forget the name of the earrings, but I looked them up and something similar and I, I don't know why they put them on the ball. I don't and i guess she didn't look them up yeah there's two different areas of my thrift store there's the wall 
And then there's the, you know, the counter where you find things. Sometimes you find really good things and sometimes you find okay stuff. But the wall, I occasionally find, like, I find things on there. I found a carved amber necklace not long ago. For a dollar. You did? So you don't really love this. I really like Florenza. But I buy and I sell um, it quite often. Okay. It's not up yet. Almost. Fair warning and... Thank you for helping, Barb. You know, I, I mean, uh oh. Margaret Bertone's in at 40. All right. That's okay. It, it is lovely. I had one that looked like this, but it was in a solid piece. I missed it. I wish I wouldn't have sold that one. Well, I may regret this too. I don't know. I don't wear it, it's a thing. My thing's World War II items. If you can, if you have those, you can always entice me in that way. I'm, Oh, I do have a really lovely Czech spider here, too, guys. Look at him. Oh, he's so adorable, that spider. Um, is that what this is? This is lovely. Thank you. Oh. Young Edwardian youth movement so florence has nice nice quality um costume jewelry it just looks really good to me i also like kramer i have a weiss brooch too guys it's white rhinestones but it's nice i have that tonight i have a lot i bring a lot of jewelry doesn't all sell okay okay all right it's so <laughs> right I mean, I'm taking it down. We're close. If somebody else jumps in, I'll I'll put it back on the pillow. But I have your information, Mike. I know that. Um, did you see my um? My, it's kind of a beat up mosaic uh, with a with the Pope in it. Did you see that, Mike? It's a little beat up. But how much? That was forty two. Thank you. It's put away. If you want to see it at some point, I'll show it to you. You're welcome, and thank you. Thank you for your bids. Man. Yeah, it's it's hidden right now because it frightens me. I, I don't like pictures of dead people. I have a problem with that. I'll show it to you. I'll email it to you or something if you want. And you can tell me what you think about it. Um, <laughs> it's missing a couple of pieces, but it's old. It's it's very old. I think it's nearly a hundred years old. This is signed Czechoslovakia. You're getting a lag now. All right, I'll try to slow down. Yeah, um, that every that always happens. He's he's cool. I have his priced a little high. Um, I really like it. It's number eleven on there. Yeah, Florence's. I could see why he collects it. It's it's, it's nice. They have a lot of, I have a really beautiful necklace. I'll, when I fix that up, I'll bring it. I just want to paint a layer of, I have to find the paint that matches it. Like the, it has a scratch on it. I don't want to sell it like that. I'm not comfortable selling stuff that's scratched. And and that sounds crazy, guys. But I love it. Um, <laughs> $48 for my checked glass spider. Okay. Um, I believe that's brass. He is brass. And here's the back of it. It says Czechoslovakia in full writing down there. That there's sorry, there's something under that now. Like a splinter from cleaning. Um it's one and one quarter inches this way. And he's fantastic. Um Hi hey Kavya, if I'm pronouncing it right. It, it's there's a red stone in the middle of the head that's glass, and this is Czech glass hair. There's the bottom back of it again. And that's a really high price. I know that, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> he looks real. I pulled him off of my, um, hi, Kavya. Yeah. Uh, so you're new. You're saying, I, yeah, I thought your name looked new. He is cool. I might be that may be a little high, but I paid up for him a little bit, and I really, really, I love it. Um, I really like it. There's other things a lot cheaper. I think I secretly don't want to get rid of it, and that's why I placed it at $48. <laughs> 
but he's cool. I don't see any interest. Um, I'm going to remove it. If anybody wants it, they can say 48. But I, I think I may have priced this a little high, but well, it is check glass. And um, I don't know how old it is, but I just, I, you know, this doesn't always signify like antique there. And I know that um, I hear people saying it does, but it doesn't. Um, this is handmade. I don't want to sell him for that, Mike. I love him too much. Um, he's going to go back. To <laughs> he's going back there. Um, <laughs> I do. I really like it. I know that's crazy, but oh, I have an amber bracelet you guys might like. Um, yeah, I have to keep it. At... It was hard. I shouldn't have pulled them off the ass birch thing. I paid up for that a little bit more than what I should have. Uh, that's why it was placed priced that high too. This is three different colors of. Let me put it on the pillow, not the pillow on the um. My pillow doesn't work for that. I have a tiny neck. Yeah, I thought he was pretty adorable. I was charging, starting him at 48. This is amber. There's the green um, honey, and I guess this is cognac. I do like my bugs and my frogs. I've gotten a couple frogs from Gina. Um, this is sternly an amber. I was starting this at 40. This is being started cheaper than my, um, my check spider. <laughs> There's the clasp. It is sternly. What is it marked? Let me see if there's markings on it. Um, I tested it. And I don't know what these are, um, these stones in here, that I'm assuming rhinestone. Yeah, the frog's adorable, too. Yeah, see, I do give some of them up. For, um, yeah, Barb is. Thank you. Thank you. So Lori's in at 40. Oh, let me give the measurement on. I'm sorry. Um, it's seven and one quarter inches. And it does, it, it all fluoresces. And it's pretty, it's it's a pretty design on it. It's a lobster. Where is it? Goodness. It's it's a lobster claw. There's the back. The bracelet's seven and one quarter inches. Too small. It, it's nice. It's a nice bracelet if it's your size. And I don't know what these stones are. It's in sterling. I would assume those are cubic zirconian or something. But I didn't test them. They're very tiny. And yeah, Barb, you are, you are doing good. Thank you. And we haven't had any knock on wood. Nobody's harassed me yet. So <laughs> hopefully they don't. If they do, they do. Everybody gets harassed. It is very nice um, the way it's detailed. They're like different sizes. There's larger on the top and all different, the three different colors running along the bottom and the top. And then it has the stones that are probably, I don't know what they are. I did not test them. I don't even think I could stick my gem tester on a stone that small, but there is a breathing, there is a, a hole in the back for it to shine. And the amber as well. Obviously they're usually opened in the back as well. All right, so we have 44 from Lori. It's funny, I placed this uh, lower than my my spider. <clears throat> I've never seen it, like, I thought it was cool. I sold my other spider last week. Eventually I'll sell everything that's on there. It's very nice. In green, I, I from what I've heard, I mean, look at it, there's green. What's that? Honey, I think. And is this Cognac, guys? What would you call that? I'm still learning the amber. It is real, though. That, I got that from Gina Gay. I like that ring. The jello ring. I, I bought it at her auction. Okay. So that that's going to be Lori to Lori Wolf. Let me put it down. Cognac. Okay, that's what I thought. The the cherry is more of a red. So there's three different colors on types on there. I need to put that down for a minute. Forty four. It's cool. It looks like a Jello mochi caught it. Yeah, I saw I saw the one you bought off of uh, off of Adrian. That, that was fantastic necklace. Um, 
I've never found one like that. That's something you're probably going to an estate sale for or something. <laughs> and I haven't been able to make it. So, how about um, thermoset? I I have a therm. Is anybody interested in this? This is a nice one. It's pretty. Um, this is one of my on the wall finds. There's no. Let me show you the back of it. Um. Th thank you. I, I I'm sorry. I move so fast. I'm sorry, guys. I. It's just me. Lori, thank you, and thank you for your bids. Congratulations, too. It's very nice. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I don't understand the green myself, but um, thermoset. Yeah, this is, oh, yeah, the thermoset. This one is number five. I was starting at, I'll start it at 25. I, I don't know what the, I honestly don't know how to price thermoset, like, but it's vintage. There's the back of it. This is very nice. The bracelet is measuring seven and a half inches. And this is, this is intact. It's a fold over clasp. I undid it. Um, it's a fold over clasp that's in good shape. Yeah, I think 25 is good to start it. Um, and this does work. I just, um, let me stick it back on there. I, it's hard for me to do it that far away from me. I'll show you the earrings in a minute. It is, it's nice. It's a nice color. It's a, a bright orange, like, I'm trying to link it. There we go. One second. I should never have taken it off. Well, I wanted to open it up and show you the back. There is no marking on this. This is unmarked. Sorry, you're looking at nothing. Um, I have trouble getting a safety chain on. What's wrong with me? Um, okay. And it's not arthritis or anything. It's just the clumsy fingers. There it is. It's it's pretty. There's nothing missing. And then in the coat, the uh, plating it's on. It's it's nice. The earrings are one inch. I'll put them on the earring holder. These are a one inch clip. Um, let me look closer. No, I don't see anything. Do you think this kind of reminds like a Coro or something? Maybe, but it's not. Look, there, I don't see any markings on. They're clip. Um, here's the back. They have a nice, like, see, the gold on it, plating or whatever that is, is in pretty good shape. I don't see a marking on it, though. Where is Dana? Oh, I don't know. Probably sleeping. Yeah, Lisner. Okay, it's not Mark. That's that's more like or Cora. I've seen Cora like this occasionally, but I don't know how to. I don't even really understand what thermoset is. I'm not gonna lie. I had a nice red one, cheery red set that I sold to somebody on here when I first started. But it's nice. I have uh, Margaret's in at twenty six. You want to start it? At tw it was twenty five. I probably should start at 26 because of the Thelma always asked me to start them um even numbers. <laughs> it's easier to count, which is true. It's in good shape. And the chain is, it does still have its safety chain back there. But I didn't see a marking on it anywhere. And I, I mean, I do check it pretty thoroughly. Although I did just, let me look a little closer. I just bought these like two years ago. And I know sometimes the marking's hard to see. No, I don't see a marking on it. It's pretty. That, that's good, right? You guys can see that. All right. Yeah, it's base metal. It looks like it has a nice, um, it's base metal. It's a gold tone color. You see that? Uh, base metal. Base metal with a, it's a gold tone color. Maybe a plating on it. I, I don't know. I seriously, I can't say that for sure. I, I mean, it's coated with something. 
<laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's not sterling, though. It's it's a gold tone color. The Both the earrings and the bracelet are gold tone. All right, I'll turn this over. I don't see anybody. Gold tone plating. Okay. It looks like real gold. I mean, I'm not going to say it's real gold plating like it's gold tone. I don't know how they do that. I don't under It just looks, it's, it's nice. It's a nice bracelet. But Margaret, if you win this, I, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I saw your bid for 26 or I started at 25, so you, you may as well be at 25. That's why I started at that. Um, have I sold to you before, I think, right, Margaret? If I haven't, email me. It's scrolling. And if that scrolling is messing with anybody's eyes, let me know and I'll remove it. I don't want to mess with anybody. I, mean, I, I put it down at 25 because that's what it started at. I should start them even. Barb, in the future, we should go... <laughs> I'm used to buy it now. So I do buy it now too. And there it doesn't matter. Like with the numbering up isn't confusing. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry if I, it like it said, it takes me a few times. Then I won't forget. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. And thank you for. Oh, hi, Tonya. I dropped the earring. I'm sure it's fine. Let me grab it. Yeah, it's good. So. My floor is, it's hard down here. Um, I don't have carpet under my desk. I should put one. Okay. Yes, Barbara, I really, I really appreciate your help. All right. Now, what's next? I have a, um, this is lovely. Well, I don't know if I'm so bad. Hey, Barb, yeah, I'll gift this to you, Barb. Uh, oh, no, it's on that. That's, that's good. I didn't throw up, but the earring's fine. Um, did, did Barb, do you like this? I don't know. Do you like that? It's neat beer. I can gift it to you if you like it for helping me. It's nice. That's rose quartz on a neat beer. I've never seen anything like it. And it's patent pending. You know, I don't know. This is a question for you ladies. You are Dawn. Um, the patent pending, Napier patent pending, does that mean that this is prior to 1955 or is that a patent pending possibly on the class? But Barb, do you like this one? Is this something you want? This is actually rose quartz, gold tone, and faux pearls. It's a Napier necklace. It's nice. I'd, I'd gift it to you if you want it. Um, I'll leave it lay aside. You can tell me. You can think about it. Um, it's a nice necklace clasp okay that's what i was thinking like it's when the fold over clasp was for the ballerina you want to see that okay let me pull her out when they when they first brought the clasp out which i can't remember what date that was um okay that's what i thought a lot of times you see that on them you like that i'll i'll save that for you i for helping me um where's the ballerina i'm sorry i'm looking for the ballerina where did she go I'm like, oh, here she is. She's another, um, she's a little thermoset ballerina. I was starting her at 20. She's cute. I can sell it. Okay. I'll sell it then. Um, I'll gift you something in with your thing. What happened there? I put the necklace aside. I, I, we sold the thermoset set. I was showing her the necklace. Um, sorry. I was asking a question. I'm sorry, Dawn, too. I, I want to throw questions at you all the time like that. Um, this is the little ballerina thermoset um, pin. I was going to start at 20 bucks. Oh. Um, I didn't put a price on it yet. Okay. I'll show it to you, okay? In a minute. Let me show it in a minute. I shouldn't. I next. Yeah. Here it is. Um, <laughs> 20 bucks, one and one half inch. She's a ballerina. Thermoset. There's. Well, I'm good. I'm glad you're having. Again, look how look at the 
glazing on her. She just looks like gold. I know it's not gold, but it looks like it. You know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of a rhodium. Uh, yeah, Kafia, yeah, I'll, I'll show that necklace in a minute. Okay, guys, I'll show it to you. Let me finish this first. This reminds me of rhodium plating, but gold tone. That's what it reminds me of, the thickness. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I will show that necklace in a minute. Yeah, this is a thermoset ballerina, one and one half inch, and she has multiple colors. This is orange and green and brown. Like orange, brown, green colors there. She's 20 bucks starting, but she, she's pretty dancer. No, I still have those beautiful glass beads. Well, I think they're it's crystals. I'll show it to you. Oh, the modernist necklace. Uh, yeah, Dawn got that. Well, I called it modernist. I don't know if it really is a modernist, but the one of the ball and the sterling torque. I sold that one. I'm sorry. That's what you're saying. You wanted that one, not, not the neat year that I'm like everybody wants that, right? <laughs> hey, that's a nice necklace. It has rose quartz on it, but I've never seen it. All right, so Star Stella is interested in this one. I'm going to turn over my timer, see if anybody else bids on her. She's, she's lovely. I did do ballet for a few years, then on my own. And I'd probably fall over if I tried it now. <laughs> it's been a while. All right, well, yeah, I'll show that pretty necklace. It, I think it's um, rhinestone, I mean, crystals, actually. It looks fantastic. It's knotted in between, and it's, it's lovely. Well, I was quite good when I did it. Um, I, I, I didn't take it to an adult when, I, when my two younger children were, two older children were young. But I was good at it. I mean, I'm a lot bigger now weight-wise. I don't i still probably be able to do it. It's good. It's really good for your posture and um, muscles. All right. So Stella, or Star, you're going to get the ballerina that you wanted. She's, she's pretty nice. She was in the box, guys. That was a good box. She was in there, and so was my, um, that bracelet. The tassel bracelet. So this is, I know, I know I've sold you before. The thermos set ballerina. Okay. What was I, oh, I was maybe going to bring out this lovely beads that I can cover you know, myself. But I bought them to sell, so I'll sell them. Yeah, I thought people were saying, hey, I want this. <laughs> This is nice in itself. I'll show that. Um, this one here. This is lovely. Let me show this to you guys. This had me. Um, thank you. Um, thanks, Star. And you're welcome. I'm glad you got it. I know you said you, you wanted that. That and my bug, I think. And my price on my bug was outrageous, I know. But I don't think I'm ready to get rid of my spider. I think this is really, really nice. Let me. Well, this is the. Um. Looks like crystals to me. It's 46 inches. And I was starting this at $30. Um, it's a 46 inch in length. Yeah, he's he's just adorable. He's he's staying home. It's knotted in between. And this this is really nice. I mean, I don't know if it's really nice. It looks really nice with the little pearls that I pulled out actually. I had red pearls. He wants to crawl over <laughs> yeah this is a nice necklace um it is number nine to 46 inch pink crystal i was i'm starting it at 30. i i really like it i think it's great hold on let me put it on a neck it's it's really lovely Look at it. 
I don't have any light shining on it either. It shines uh, beautifully. I mean, this would look nice. I had, like I said, I, I put the pink pearls back in my case, but I had the, the red pearls that looked great with like the reddish, they were kind of like a reddish purple almost looking, probably dyed. But Pamela's in at 30 for this. This is lovely, huh? I'm just going to leave it sit still. It does shine really nice, though. And it's knotted in between each one, and they're different shapes. We have round, and then there's, like, over here, like, these ones that are shaped not really round, but they're square. All different shapes and sizes <clears throat> with a knot in between each one. And this is, I would, I, I believe this is crystal, if you ladies want to weigh in on that. Um, it definitely, it's something quality looking to me. It does not have a, um, it doesn't have a clasp on it. It's 46 inches. So this is the, definitely a double upper over your head. I don't know about three times with that length. Probably not, not over your head. You'd have to have a really small head. <laughs> but somebody could probably like have it doubled and pull it up or something. Maybe with one of those, uh, it is lovely was tempted to keep it, but at the same time, I don't wear much jewelry like this, so I figured I'd offer it to somebody else who may get some use out of it. My social life is non-existent at this point. At some point, I will be. Yeah, you'd have to have a really small head, don't you think? It's lovely, though. This was on the wall, and um, on the wall, I say that. It's just sometimes I see things on the wall, and I... It, I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's crystal, but it's, um, it is knotted, like, in between here, too. Like, look. And there isn't a clasp, right? Sorry, hold on a minute. I'm looking at something. Oh, okay, okay. No. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up, guys. Thank you. It's, it's pretty. But I only see who who was being on this. I'm so sorry. Um, Carol, was that right? Lori, Pamela, Pamela, did you email me? I don't remember if I sold something else to you. Um, if I never have sold you before, please email me down here. I just need your um. I may have already asked you this, but I did. I'm sorry. It takes a while for the names to get absorbed into my head. But I just need your PayPal email address, country in which you live, and I need to know your YouTube name. Yeah, I think this is really lovely. I liked it with the red pearls, too. I should have kept them. Um, no, 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 guys. Um, ugh. I'd rather have an ugly one that's nice anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, that's, it's just, I, I'm busy. Especially if the grandbaby now. I'll be I'll be helping take care of them. I feel fortunate for that. <laughs> Price Dorito. No, when I go in there, I think they think I'm crazy. I go in with a black light, a magnet, um, sometimes 409 on a rag, and I smell things. <laughs> Even if it was a good looking guy in there, he'd probably be like, oh wow. <laughs> this fat old lady. It's crazy. All right. Well, thank you. Um, Pamela, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. I The name looked familiar, but like I said, I haven't. It's because I sold you. There you are. Okay. This is really nice. You're going to like it. What did they say? Something funny. I don't know. How did they get all the way up there? Grandma hood. Yeah. I don't know. I, I find myself, um, I keep myself really busy. Every once in a while I get lonely. Oh, let's, oh, earrings. Let me see if I have anything good in here. I have these big things. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I look crazy, I'm sure. Oh, the nape earring. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I, um, I look completely crazy probably. I don't care, you know, it's, it is what it is. They're, they're doing really good. He, he's adorable. He's bossy. And he's eating constantly. Poor girl. <laughs> Here it is. It's just an ape ear. 
I've never seen one with, I like I said, I've just started looking at it. I have picked it up off the walls, but I didn't pay much attention to it until I got the book. But that's actually rose quartz on there. There are like eight of them, maybe ten, and faux pearls. And these are gold tone. Those are metal balls. And this is, has the patent pending probably on the clasp. Yeah, and that's the starting bid. And it is rose quartz. I, I tested it to make sure. I probably should have a longer neck out here. But can you guys see that well? I always, it looks further away from me. Um, the sliders. I sold the slider. Um, oh, this I have a pair of dangle earrings. This is an apiary first. Oh, let me get the measurements on it. I'm sorry. I'm getting sloppy. Uh, where is it? Or found it before me. 22 inches with a fold over clasp that says Napier and has a patent pending for the clasp on it. Um, they're white and I think they're glass. They, they certainly, let me see, let me touch them together. Okay, these are, those are rose quartz, and I think these are glass faux pearls. Um, and gold, metal, gold tone balls. They, they're textured. Pay up for who? A man, you mean? D oh, I, I, I don't care about that. I know that sounds a little strange. I'm at the age right now where I'm, I don't care about that. <laughs> Not yet. Not now. There's enough with an 11 year old and then a baby, the baby I've stopped and sewing today. Um, he's so adorable. I feel like I have to hold him at least every other day or I'll say I missed a baby. I don't think anybody wants an apier. I got excited about it. Um, it is vintage. I don't know how vintage, um, with that on here, I can't remember when these clasps were first created. Honestly, the photo of class fifties, maybe I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that stuff. Um, I did have it in my head for a short period of time. And since it's not something that's moved around in there a lot, it, it escaped me. So, so Wendy, Wendy white will hate Wendy. If I sold to you, um, yeah, you're a brooch or mine. There are men that look at the jewelry in there, but most of them are pretty frightening. <laughs> no, I'm joking. The ones that sometimes they have a magnet if you don't or something like that, which just makes me happy. Oh, I sold that too. I'm really sorry. I sold that first. One of the first things I sold was that slider bracelet. And I sold the modernist looking ball necklace. I do have a Swarovski. I have another amber necklace. I have, I have a lot over here. I have a nice Trafari that I think is, it's, um, I had loose sight acrylic on her, but it, it's, I believe it's all loose sight. I, the beads are definitely not acrylic either. Yeah, I'm really sorry. But Wendy did, oh, Wendy, I don't remember your name. If you haven't bought from me and if you have, I'm really sorry, but email me at that email, just your PayPal email address. YouTube name and the country in which you live. So I know if you're, if you're outside the United States, so I know how to bill for shipping. That's $5 shipping unless you're outside the United States. <clears throat> then it's usually 15. Most of the only people outside the United States I have are Canada right now. I do have some other things. If there's anything else you're interested in, you can ask. Um, I have a nice neck Colleen Tolan necklace set here. I think it's nice. But Wendy, um, have I sold you? I don't recognize your name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is an auction, so we're seeing if anybody else would bid. But um, it'll be yours, though, because I don't think anybody else wants it. Um, it's a nice necklace, and those are real rose quartz on there. Okay, okay, Wendy. Thank you. All right, thanks. Let me, sorry. Let me put this in a bag. Bags are getting filled up. I'm actually, some more than I thought I would. Um, 
<laughs> some pants on worn. I thought I was. And a part of amount of bags that I have out. Okay, if there's any other request of anything, if anybody here interested in anything particular, you can ask. But I want to show this one. This is nice to me. I thought this was really. Well, thank you, Wendy. Congrats. Let me show this. I'll just put it here for a minute. It's nice. I don't know if you've ever heard of Colleen Toland. It's T-O-L-A-N-D is her last name. This is necklace and post earrings hair. Anna just keeps moving, trucking on her. Oh, <laughs> no break in between. No. Yes, thank you. It, it's a nice necklace. You'll like it. I don't know how to date it, but I'm thinking it's it's definitely with the patent pending on. It's definitely a vintage one. I didn't look in the book even. It could be in there. But Colleen Toland. These are the earrings. Look how pretty. The little dangles. There's the back. Maybe you want to see the back without the earring piece, I guess, huh? They look homemade, handmade. Um, she I looked some of her jewelry up, and it's really, really nice. It's it's nice jewelry. It's not extremely high end, but a little higher, you know, end than what I normally sell. <laughs> it's nice. And I was I found this. I was happy to find this. I didn't know what it was when I found it. The lady identified it as something completely wrong to me, but I still bought it. The necklace, let me show you. Um, there's that. It's really nice dangling. There's the back of that there. That's a sticker like back there. I'll, I'll have to wipe that off. It's They had a sticker on it. <clears throat> but anyways, let me give you the length of it. Here's what the chain looks like. It has glass beads on here. This is like a brass type of chain. I don't know if it's really brass or brass finish. Probably brass or jewelry was up in the higher end. Um little higher priced for to use 14 inches with three and one half inch extender is what it is and here's her name here's her name is on there colleen toland it's lovely actually i think yeah the set together oh okay 17 14 inches with three and one half inch extender on it and these are two inch earrings let me tell you how long that piece is because a lot of people want to know how big the like piece it's kind of dependent that's three inches here and it has glass um and a plastic possibly i don't know what kind of this may be i don't know lucite i've seen she at lucite jewelry but i can't say that's lucite because i don't know but it's lovely set She has nice jewelry. I don't know, um, there. I'll put them side by side. Can you, you can see all that. Yeah, it's a nice, it's very, it's very nice actually. Um, it's handmade. Most jewelry like that is. I can't throw that together with a machine. But I'm going to turn the thing over. We'll see if anybody has any interest in it. I said 75 starting, but I mean, it's um, it's worth that. It's a lovely piece of jewelry. It's something if I don't sell, I'd wear this at least once somewhere. It's really pretty. I don't know. Can you wear this in the wintertime? You can wear any color you want anytime, right? I mean, it's made well. And it's in, it's in great condition there's nothing um yeah nothing wrong like nothing missing as far as i could see or anything like that yeah i don't know who's i never heard of her before but i did look up online and i did a little bit of looking and she at like pieces like this at what they were priced so i priced it under that um can somewhat you know enough than a fair price a uh, fair starting price at an auction but it's a lovely set of jewelry her her stuff's nice yeah, she, she has um she has a lot of like the handmade like dangle type of with glass mixtures of the glass brass and I know she had loose like like I said, I don't know what this is. 
type of plastic that is. It's definitely, these are plastic and they're a little in the middle of some of them are little glass crystal piece looking pieces. All right. I don't think anybody's interested in it. Um, I really like it. And for a price I paid for it, I can, I can keep this for a while. I'll probably put it online. All right. I'm going to, I guess this one's a pass on this. It's pretty. The lady had a tag in there. She spoke a different language. <laughs> and she was telling me it was something else. And when I looked at it, it wasn't the right thing. Um, but this is nice as well. All right, let me put this somewhere where nothing's going to happen to it. Out, off to the side. Okay. All right. I figured I'd try that one. Um, this is, this is, um... I have a Swarovski. Let me show that. It's just, it's a multicolored one. I'll I'll do this one. Show this. It has the tank tag. Um, it has a string on it still too. I got to cut off. I just noticed that. It says it has the swan on it, and I'll show that in a second. I was seeing if it said anything else. Oh, I oh, make sure that you have um set a remind i every before any sales that i have i i use Streamyard. i put a reminder on my page you can see that um if you set a reminder there it'll remind you or on my youtube make sure you have the dark bell selected are you sure everything's so i'm i'm sorry let's see there's this one ladies gents <laughs> if there's any men left um all right this is multicolored. one of these ones um it's 30 inches no 34 inches multicolor crystal Swarovski necklace yeah 30 bucks starting bid it's in good shape I do have a string up here I need to cut off but there's the tag like where did I see that I saw tiny right there I'll get that off but there's multi multiple colors on here of crystal it's a, a typical one. Um, you'll bid 30. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a nice necklace. Found this the same day as that amber ball necklace. That was a good day for me at the thrift store. I came home happy. It's a pretty necklace. It's so strange not hearing yourself talk when you're on here. Like not hearing anybody back. Yeah, it's pretty. It, it's a pretty necklace. I mean, I I don't think I started that too high. It's no, you know what? I think this is definitely worth that. Um, not that. This this I I researched that more and I know that a little better. This I've never heard of. It's lovely though. My daughter might like that. I've got to get Christmas gifts. Yeah, and I told them they'll probably get used jewelry and they're fine with that. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice, it's a 34 inch one. I will try to cut the string off. Um, okay, thank you, uh, Dawn. I will um, invoice you tomorrow morning and I'll, I'll be shipping out Wednesday after I get Wednesday morning before my job. But thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the help. I'm sorry I asked you questions all the time. <laughs> but I'll see you guys. I'll be on yours on. See you and Adrian on Wednesday. So Thanksgiving's coming. Have a nice Thanksgiving. I'll probably see you on Wednesday, though, like I said. I'll be going to my daughter's house. I'm going to help her cook. She, she's a really, I'm not saying I don't know how to cook, but she's a better cook than I am. And I can admit that. Um, she's much younger than me, but she's definitely a really good cook. I'm going to cut the things. I'm going to be the sous chef and cut things and she's going to throw it together. You know, take Eva wants to see the baby. So I'll take, pick her up from her dad's and take her over. All right. Oh, you did. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll get yours out tomorrow morning then. How's that? 
I'll, I'll wrap it up before I leave in the morning. Okay. I, I have to make sure I have a nice box for it. I actually, I do. I have a box I got from Thelma today. I'll reuse that. All right. All right. Thank you, Barb. I'll put this in with your um, pen. I think I have a big enough box for the necklace. I want to make sure nothing happens to that. Um, All right, let me let me find your bag. You had a yeah. You bought didn't you buy that pendant off me or that big brooch? Um, yeah, you did. Where is it? That's the one. That's that's stuff. <laughs> I have to find your bag. One second. I know you bought that first for me. I felt like I need to, like I said, I'm getting shopping behind me and I have to improve my, um, my process. Yeah, how did Barb get thrown all the way in the back? I don't know, but here it is. I found it. Yeah, I'm getting shelving behind me for myself for Christmas. That and I joined a gym, <laughs> gifting myself. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, thank you. I got it, Barb. Thank you. That's that's a nice necklace. Um, it's in brand new shape too. It look, doesn't even look like anybody owned that. This is a Monet. Let me see if this is beat looking before I try selling it to you guys. Sometimes I don't want to sell anything. Um. I don't like some faded stuff. I just don't. I know it's vintage and all, but sometimes I feel like my eyes are like this. This looks okay to me. <laughs> this is a Monet. This was also in the jewelry box. So she, the lady did give me some nice stuff in that box. I'll, I'll show it to you ladies um, and gents if there's any here. Here, it's a fold over class Monet, like a link. I'm, I'm putting it on the thing. Here it is. It's a nice one. I don't know the date on it, honestly, by looking at it. So many who fought Monet. It has the copyright before. And the class does have a little wear on it. You see that on that side. But this is probably, what, like 1980s? That's what I think. It's a bracelet. A Monet seven and one half inch. I have heavy gold tone bracelet. It's a little heavier. I did starting bid. Okay. I have heavy link. I call it heavy link because it has some weight to it. And it's in pretty good shape. Um, the fading is occurring on there. You see that little bit of wear there. The rest of it looks pretty good, but I will give you guys a close-up view of it so you can be determine that. And I think this is 1980s. I have my phone on silence. Um um, no, the doctor told me, um, I need, I, I do have reading classes coming, real ones. He told me he doesn't think I have the, the, um, he doesn't think there's anything going on with them in regards to glaucoma. He said, I have narrow, um, it, they're narrow, what I can't even, I'd have to look at the paper right in front of me to know exactly what he said, but I do not have glaucoma and he put my testing for six months ahead. Oh, okay. One minute, Nutter. Um. It's seven and one half inches. I'll show you it on mine. I'm I'm a six inch. You know, seven and a half inches would be comfortably what like a. I guess you could wear it up to a seven inch, maybe even seven and a half. There, look. Yeah, it's seven and one quarter. One seven and one half inches. I'm going to take it off here. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with them, um, with my eyes, which is good. And I do have new reading classes coming. So, yeah, it's average size. It, I, mine's like six, maybe a little over. And it fit comfortably. It's not like falling off my wrist or anything like a bigger one would be. Yeah, this is, it's a nice bracelet. In 1980s, would you think on that? Yeah, that's the 1980s hallmark. The one with it after is the older pieces. I do have a nice pair of tassel earrings, too. I don't know if anybody was waiting for those. But there's that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I started wearing glasses when about 42 reading glasses. And yeah, I am glad for that. I just have to sleep. Um, I Last night I sat the phone aside. Some, I surf the internet for jewelry sometimes until 2 or 3 a.m. Once I start, I can't stop. Well, I put it aside last night and I had three dreams that I remember. So I slept. I had REM. And I felt great when I woke up. I went and got my oil changed, my picture taken for my driver's license, and I joined the gym. So I, I got a lot done today. I didn't go work out. I don't think anybody wants this. Um, <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice Monet. It's probably a 1980s piece. Um, I don't think anyone's interested in this. I'm all, I'm Monet and people out probably. I found so much Monet jewelry. I've slowed down. I, do, I will pick up like a big tassel necklace. Yeah. You think 1980s? Okay, that's what I thought by the Hallmark. Plus, it looks 1980s, but I've seen jewelry that looks 1980s. It's older. But yeah, this one, that sounds right. Thank you for confirming that. All right, I don't think anybody wants this. Um, I'm going to move it. I've actually sold mostly everything I've shown today so far. I do have more jewelry, though, guys. Um, I don't know if there's anything anybody wanted to see in particular, but I have this cute little necklace. I'll show this. I think this is cute. It's um, but something I I don't know why the heart is no, and I look terrible. I'm thirty pounds fatter than when I had it taken originally, and it's the older one. It's frightening. I had no makeup on either though, and at fifty three, no makeup is. I don't wear a lot of makeup though. I'm not a big makeup person usually. Look where the heart is. It's sterling. It's on that end. I don't know if you're supposed to wear it this end. You could take it off there if you wanted, but this is a sterling silver and those are pearls. These are real. Um, and I believe these are that sterling there. It was hard to scrape it. These are fresh water, I believe, or cultured. And that's a sterling heart. Let me find it um, on here. It is a, uh, where is it? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Hmm. Oh, it's uh, 17 inches. I would, I would, okay, yeah, 35. I was, I was going to say a little lower than that, but, um, well, it is pearls and sterling. Sterling balls separating the pearls. And then a little puffy heart at the bottom. And the measurements on this is, it's 17 inches in length. And it has a lobster It's a lobster claw class. It's marked 925 on there. That's the only place I think that has the marking. I was going to pull the heart off of here. Um, that, but if somebody buys it, they can stick it on the other end themselves if they want it. I don't know. Are you supposed to wear it with the clasp on the bottom? I don't know why the heart's up there. I figured I always looked so bad. Why well, doll myself up for anything? <laughs> That's why I didn't. I don't know. I was in a hurry. And, um, yeah, they look like this fresh water. And the little balls in between are sterling. I had trouble scraping them. I did scrape a little. I didn't want to scrape the, um, the pearls. But they're separated by little sterling, uh, balls there. It's a small heart, though. The heart's like a half of an inch. Yeah, fresh water. They're a little odd shaped looking. I actually think that was too high of a starting bid. Um, if anybody, I was going to lower that. Um, not that I should do that in the middle of this, but if anybody's interested and they can have it for 25, I was going to lower it. I'm sorry, Barb, I didn't. I'm moving slow tonight. I didn't know if it was worth starting at that high. I mean, it's it's worth something, but it is some sterling silver, not a whole lot, and little freshwater pearls. If anybody wants it for twenty five, if not, hi CJ, thank you. You too. How are you doing? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I started. I meant to change it. I I feel like some of my prices were a little high on some things last night. Um, I tend to do that. I haven't had a ticket either. I I don't speed or anything. I'm a little bit of a slow driver. All right. I don't think anybody wants the little pearls and puffy heart. That's fine. It's it's cute. Let me give it to my 11 year old. <laughs> I could. I don't think she doesn't have a little pearl pearls yet, and she's only 11. She might really. This will be great um, for her. Actually, it's cute. It's a cute necklace. She does have an amber necklace now and a small turquoise. So I've been when I find small ones, I I, I gift them to her because she's you know she's a kid and she likes it. She doesn't know what they are. You've never had a ticket. I have. Never a speeding ticket though. I've gotten pulled over for making like turns from the wrong lane type of thing, which is terrible. Shouldn't admit that. All right, I have a Trafari. Listen. You guys want to hear it click? Um, here it is. I'm going to show this next. Why not? I think this is Lucite. It's not Bakelite. I tested it. They had some necklaces that were Bakelite. Hi, Lois. And somebody... Um, Adrian, actually, yes, yeah, she sent me. I found a Cuneo Metis Muto, or however you pronounce his name. I'm really sorry, I can't pronounce it. He, he made jewelry for um, for Trafari for a while, and I've actually found a couple pieces. And this looks like that, but it's not marked that. It just says it has the Trafari. One second, let me look, and then I can tell. Huh? Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. That's terrible. I was told when I was taught how to drive, I didn't learn how to drive until my two cho older children were like, they were young. I was in my thirties. They told me I could go five miles over 10 and not, it wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. A speed trap. They needed to make some money. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Um, um, I don't know. And I don't want to go that low. I When I looked it up, I don't know exactly how much that one's worth, but she was, some of it was going higher. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. I'll bring it back at another time. Not right now. I, I don't want to. But um, I'm sorry. This is Trafari in handwriting. Yeah, that marking. I think that's the 80s. It was out. But here's the necklace. It's signed Trafari in um, post winning. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah, that's, I think it's just loose sight though. I don't think these are acrylic. Um, it's okay. It's light. I guess either one could be light though, right? Yeah, I started at 20. Is that right? Um, it is 16 inches. I thought I was starting a bit of 30, but 20 is okay on it. Um, well, how much did I think I say? It was 16 inches going around. And why did I say 70s? Because I must have looked the homework up. Um, okay, this is true. <laughs> 70s or 80s. I don't know. What do you ladies think? 80s, 70s. What do you think about that? Um, let's determine what, when we think this is dated. I know that they had a lot of white... Um, It's probably 80s. But this is Trafari. Post weekend jewelry wallet. I haven't bought any. Well, okay. Hi, hi, Jeanette. Uh, besides to sell, well, that I have I bought myself anything? Yeah, that's not completely true. I did keep a couple things I found. <clears throat> I, I just do a video showing some earrings. I found a pair of earrings. They have black glass and they have a cube on them. Um, and I, I, it's, it's a, it's a cube, like a, one of those dimensional cubes that people draw. You know what I'm talking about? It looks like that. I have to show it to you guys. It's really cool. But anyways, this is the Trafari and it is, it's 30, in, 16 inches around. It's a choker. This is metal. And these are. These are loose sight pieces. And the only marking of the Trafari is up here. It's it's just Trafari. It's not the Cuneo. It's nice though. 
if you like Trafari and have, don't have one of these or want it. I don't think anybody wants this. You don't have to change it. $20 starting bid's fine on it. It's not going to sell anyways today. I got to start. I um. I found a pair of earrings that match this perfect, actually, but they're the Kunio, and I can't pronounce the last name. The Japanese artist um, who made jewelry with Trafari. And I think that was the 80s, actually, as I remember reading this when his jewelry was made. So this would be 80s. All right, I'm going to move it. Is it going to be a pass, I think? I don't think anybody wants to Trafari. That's cool. But, all right. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's not late. These are nice. Let's make sure of these to you ladies. These were in that box. <laughs> More things from that box. Look how nice. This is, um, I believe that's glass. I, I don't believe that's stone. Um, here's the backs of them. They probably, I can, I'll wipe them off. They sh I should have wiped them off. I'm sorry. Hold on. Um, they look all right. They, they're old. It has this piece on it. I could take that off if anybody buys it. I don't have new ones to put on it, um, but there's these earrings are a greenish, what, windy about the necklace. Um, I didn't want to lower that necklace to 60 right now. Um, the necklace set, I, so I told her not right now. I'd let her know. I did see that about the Colleen Tolan set. It's an, it's a very nice set. I, I probably hold on to it. I was hoping it would go for more than 75, honestly. Um, that was the starting bid. Gold tone green. It's number one. Sorry. Number one, the gold tone. Um, yeah, windy, but I'll let you know. Um, like, like I said, I think those are glass, not stone. Put it on my gem tester. It goes a little above glass, but I'm not convinced that that's a stone. See it. Look at it. Um, I started them at 18 bucks. It's the number one, the gold tone green glass clip earrings. That thing needs taken out and replaced, but they're one and one quarter inch this way. And I'm sorry. I saw a mark on here. Yeah, that's kind of coming off. I kind of got to clean these a little bit better, um, probably. Hold on. I got to see if it's discoloration or if there's actually, like, something. I'm sorry. Just give me a minute. That's terrible. I normally do clean my color. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a stone either, no. Cabochon's glass. They're nice. They have a, an antique finish. They do have a little discoloration up here. I noticed right there. Do you see that? I don't know if that can be cleaned off. I should probably keep them and take, bring them back at some point. I'm going to cancel. I'll, I'm going to remove these, okay? Unless somebody really wants them and wants to clean them yourself, I think I need to clean them better. I don't like the way that looks. And if that is a discoloration, I, I will not want to sell that. So I'll remove these. I don't like selling stuff like that bothers me. Um, they were in that box <laughs> that I think was in storage for a while. Some of the stuff is questionable. I have to clean it. I do have the Monet um, tassels. I'll show those next. I'll remove those ones until I clean them and see if I can get that discoloration off. If that's like damage, I probably, like I said, I probably won't sell them. I'll put them in a lot and let people know that it's on there. I, I don't want to. I don't like selling stuff like that. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, Cause I wouldn't wear them, honestly. You know, with that on there. I don't know how old they are either. If these are like a really old pair of earrings, and perhaps I would, but <laughs> I need to research them more probably. To here's the Monet tassels. I'll show these next. These are number five. I was gonna start them at twenty four. They're number five. I'll keep that price at twenty four. They're just signed Monet. I don't see. Well, there's a copyright on the other end. These are probably 1980s, I would think. They're nice. 
These are a nice pair of Monet tassels with the tension clip. The Monet's tension clip back there. The little golden tassels are measuring um, two inches from here down. And that's backwards and you see the bra. Yeah, there's the back. Let me show you. Uh, it says Monet on the clip, the tension clip, as well as, and my phone's right back there. I forgot to cover it today. And it says Monet right there. And there is a copy right there. So, let me turn them around. I, I'll, and I just, hold on a minute, it just fell. I'm going to, they're still backwards on here. It's okay. I'm going to turn my thing over and see if anybody wants them. If nobody wants them by then, then I'll, obviously we'll pass. And then we'll keep them here until, somebody, until someone buys them. <laughs> I'm joking. If 24 people are people, I'm boring people. Um, It's getting, it's getting late. Not real. What time? Oh, I've been on here two hours. I said three. Um. They are nice. They're nice. They like tassel. If you have a tassel necklace, a lot of people. I saw somebody was selling these with the necklace actually somewhere. I think it was on Dawn's page. Somebody posted it. I'm sorry. I was seeing if there was rhinestones and there's not. I think that's just a ring with cuts on it. Yeah, I was kidding about that. We'll keep them here until we sell them like, like a teacher in school. What else? I have my Israel earrings. I lo I lowered the price on these. If anybody's interested in the opals, I'll pull those out. They're nice. I did lower. But I don't see anybody wanting the Monet's tassels. I was excited when I found them. They'll sell eventually. Whoops, sorry. Probably making people sick. All right, I think we could pass. I don't see any interest in these. But if anybody comes on and sees them, I will, I'll sell them at this. I do have some. I have a nice Weiss one, and I have two Russian. I have a Czechoslovakia one. I have, Yeah, I have a number of them. Let me show them to you, ladies and gents, if there are any. Yeah, we'll pass on that. I do have brooches. I forgot. Um, Not deliberately. These ones I pulled out of wellness, so everybody with the spider over there. <laughs> This is the Weiss. This is nice. This is in great condition, like brand new condition looking. Um, there's the back of it with the signature and the copyright. Remember I was asking if Weiss had copyrights? That answers my question. There it is. There's a Weiss with copyright. I think it was Weiss that was asking that about. Yeah. There's the back. Here's the front. This is number um, seven. I'm going to start it at 40. It's a two inch. Two inches this way. You have like a little... Like raised there, different shaped rhinestones. Um, here's these ones, the marquee or, or Nivet shaped round, multiple sizes. And then the little like ring thing that goes like this hair and ring around those, there's rhinestones clustered in there as well. They are not, those are not pronged. The other ones are, but I'll put it on the pillow. It's, it's a lovely brooch. It's two inches. Like I said, it's a waist. Oh, look how pretty it looks on the black. Yes. Sort of. Like up here, yeah. This It has this little ring hair that goes around in there. And those are, un, they're unpronged though. But there's, there's the back. I already showed that. There's the front. It's pretty. I don't have any real colorful ones of white left. I sold them all. I do have a, like another white one, different. But this is the one I pulled out. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's it's pretty nice. The it there's no no dead stones on it. I think so. Yeah, is that rhodium? It has the copyright. Um, well, rhodium was used all throughout. It's probably still used, right? I have a green lucite necklace. 
I have a number of things. So um, I'm going to show it all. See if I can get rid of more of it. <laughs> Not get rid of. Sell it to you, ladies. Um, it's nice. I can hear. Do you guys hear that horn honk? It's like really loud. Come on. Let me move the Ronays out of there. Oh, sorry. All right. I don't think anybody wants Mr. Weiss. It's lovely. It's two inches this way. This way it's probably like an inch. Yeah, the horn. Sorry about that, guys. Um, if you, It was going on for like a half of a minute and it was very loud. I'm in an apartment building and um, I'm in the city. Okay, yes, pass on that. That's all right. I really, I like it. Um, so at some other point, I have two Russian brooches. I have this little Napier that it's a black enamel for rhinestones. I was going to start at twenty bucks. It's number three. I don't know. Should I put it on the black pillow? It may not work on there. No, why not? Here it is. This is a. I think I've shown this before. <laughs> enamel, gold tone with enamel. Copyrights before the word Napier. Um, it has rhinestones around these areas. And this is enamel. It measures two and three quarter inches this way. And one and one quarter. I'm sorry, hold on. One and one eighth this way. But I would start that at 20. Yeah, the white birch wasn't real um, colorful. The more colorful ones sell better. I like the white. I um, I have a nice pair of earrings that actually match that one. I didn't pull those off, though. But this is black enamel and rhinestones. You can see that. It's so quiet here for me. My cat's sleeping. Where is she? Oh, I don't know. She's been climbing a tree. She's bad. All right. I'm going to say pass on this roll right quick. I don't think anybody wants it. I haven't seen any movement. Let me see if I can find something that might excite you. Oh, God. I may be running out. Um. I have a long gold necklace. I have this bracelet. This is lovely, but look, look at it. This is glass. And look how nice it is. Sorry, I'm moving ice. This is pretty. This is a bracelet, obviously. Um, purple glass bracelet. Eight and one half inches on this one. I can fit this over my arm like this. Easy. It's it's big on me. Um, it's nice. It's very lovely. And I don't know what kind of glass this is called, what this is called, but it looks violet like. And what do I say? I'm just going to start this at 15 if anybody likes this purple glass bracelet. Yeah, $15 on this. Um, I didn't test this to see if it's sterling. It kind of looks like it, but I didn't test it. And I don't know what type of glass that's, what that's called, but it looks like. It looks, it's nice. This is probably one of the first ones I should have shown. Let's see if it glows. This purple Everglow. No. I think all my good stuff's gone. People are leaving. They're like, ugh. All right. I'll leave this hair, and that's a $15 starting bit on the purple glass. I'll turn this over and wait to see. Yeah, it's really, it's a pretty, pretty bracelet. It's too big on me or I'd keep it. Um, it's really nice, actually. Look how it, like, shines that purple. It's, you'd have to have at least, like, a seven inch, probably, for that, since it's eight, or maybe a little bit bigger, since it's seven and a half. I mean, eight and a half. It's eight and a half inches. I do have amber earrings. Yes, I can pull those out. I do have a couple pairs. I have a pair of, um... I have a pair of opals uh, made in Israel that are sterling that I lowered my beginning bid on. 
Yeah, I have two pairs of amber earrings. Let me pull them out. Let's 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 pass on that as well. I didn't see any interest. Um yeah, I do have some amber earrings. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I have a green pair that are um these are uh Amber and their posts. They're one half inch. They're unmarked. I tested them. They are sterling. Let me put them on the thing. I'm having trouble getting a backing off it. I added one to it. There's the back. Let me stick it on here. Um, I'll get the other one too. Um, they, they're amber. Okay, I just want to show you that. They're one half inch. And these are green amber. I was going to start them at $24. Um, let me stick it on there. Get the other one. And, and I'll show them to you guys close. I think they're green or am I going blind? Um, let me show it to you in a minute. have to get the backing off. I stuck backings on here. They, they did not have backings. I added non-sterling. But here they are. They're one half inch like this. They look like a like a fan, like a triangle that's kind of see they they fluoresce. They're definitely amber. And there's see the shape of them. It's a little blurry. They have an opening in the back. Are they green? I don't know. Are they green? Um, <laughs> maybe. I feel like I'm going colorblind too. Uh, I swear there's something going on with my eyes. Let me look at them close. All right, is 24 too high on that, you think? I don't think so. They're a pair of amber and sterling silver earrings, one half inch this way. And there they. All right, I'm going to turn this thing over and then I'll wait that long because I tend to jump around a lot. Um, I have another pair of amber earrings too. I'm going to put those down. I have a pair of vintage acorn and leaf earrings here too. They're screw backs. All right, I don't see any interest in these little things. I mean, maybe I'm, I don't think I'm moving too fast. Nobody, usually somebody would say something by now. So I'm, I'm going to remove them. Actually, I'm going to leave them on there. <laughs> just in case I show them again. So, no, I just start, it's hard to get the backing off. I'll show these ones as well. Um, it could be a choice if anybody sees. These are the same thing. Well, they're amber. These ones here, I was going to start at 24 as well. These ones are a honey color of amber, like a clear. Um, they're marked 925. These are a little over one inch. And I was going to start these at 24 too. Let me show you what they look like. There's the backing kiss. It's marked 925 down there. Somewhere. I'm making that up. Um, no, it's in there. All right, those ones are 24 too. Um, I think I showed them well, right? They, I lit them up. Those ones, like you said, it's a little over an inch. And this part and this part sterling on that. I'm, I'm going to put them down. Let me see. I don't know. I don't have a whole, whole lot left. I do have some. I have a green Lucite necklace. Another amber necklace. This one's nice. A long gold tone. Eh. All right. It's so silent. Nobody's even saying anything. Is there? Are, people, are you guys still here? Did another auction jump on? Did somebody else go on? <laughs> Some... 
All right. Um, not that it matters. They're allowed to, obviously. How dare you? How dare you when Anna's on? <laughs> Joking. Um, all right. I don't see any interest in either of these. Maybe I started them too high. I don't know. I don't think 24 is a lot for them. They're both Amber and Sterling. Maybe too much Amber going around. Hi, Liz. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get tired. I have this. This is a little, um, all right. I guess, oh. Oh, oh, hi, Lon. I said, oh, I saw all those thoughts. Oh, what were you said for the dangles? Yeah, that's like when we're on Thelma's, we put the periods when you can't see things. Um. Okay, Lori Wolf. All right, Lori, I think I already sold something to you today, right? Um, let me look. It's late. I come on late, but I, I don't like coming on too early. It's bad, too. Nobody's really around. I mean, well, it's only 10. <laughs> only. I do work tomorrow. Um, <laughs> But I kind of set my own hours. Um, I It's it's tough, though. I, I'm starting to feel, it feels harder and harder doing it. The cleaning. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, thank you, Lori. I saw that. Thank you. All right, and the other ones I removed. This is Amber as well. I think it's, let me see where it was. It's a sterling. I think that's too high of a start. Um, I'll start it at 32. Thank you, Lori. Um, well, this is a really nice change. Chain, look at it, guys. Yes, I saw that, Lori. Yeah, yeah, I, I, when I looked in your bag. There's the chain on this necklace. It's a nice one. It's flat. It's marked 925 in Italy on this. Um, in JC, whatever that means, 16 inch chain. And this is one and one half inches from the, um, from the bail down, it's one and one half inches. The hallmarks are on here. You know, the normal 925 Italy and it says JC. I, I don't know what that means, but there's the, this is an amber necklace. I don't know if it's reconstituted I or just honey. I, I get confused on them. It is nicely, and I'm in bright light, and it fluoresces green in here. All right, so we have Lois in at 32. She was first, yeah, right. So if, um, Wendy, if you're interested, you go up to 34. Let me, why does it look so lit? Oh, did I move my phone? There we go. My hands look terrible. Goodness. <clears throat> I'm hard on myself. I've got to stop that. Um, all right. So, when do you want to put 34? I'm seeing if I... Wendy. Oh, you, you were the Napier necklace, too. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for your bid. I know I am. I am. It's, it's, I think a lot of people are. I shouldn't admit that I am. It's a very big thing. <laughs> it's, oh God, it's, the aging's been rough for me. <laughs> aging's been rough. We all do age, though, don't we? It's one thing you can't stop. <clears throat> it's time. All right, so Wendy's at 38. The chain's lovely on here. It's a nice chain. Yeah, I think, you know, but I, I like I said, I, I do feel fortunate to have reached my age. Um, Like, my mother died at my age. 53 years old, she died. It's it's sad. Um. She never took care of herself. It's a main reason, one of the reasons why. I mean, it's vanity a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> um, of wanting to lose the weight and get in better shape, but it's health to, it's not all vanity driven. It is somewhat though. I mean, what woman, most women are vain. Okay, so Lois is, um, she's at 40. The chain's very nice, actually. I didn't weigh it. But it's a nice Italian chain. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, I did join the gym, Michelle, and I start. I, I don't know how much weight I'll end up getting off. <clears throat> My goal is like 30. i okay with a little bit of weight. I used to be super thin. Oh, I worked the wrong price down. I, all right. Um, yeah, Lewis, Wendy, are you, I don't know if you're if you're the one that said you had a big leg. If you want to go up to forty two, or somebody was mentioning that they had a really the leg was bad for them. She may have already left actually. Sorry, you guys can hear me over her rummaging through my stuff. <laughs> Laughing at myself. Um, yeah, Wendy's at 42 now. Yeah, the drink I did drink water with dinner today instead of soda. I mean, it's becomes I get I have a personality to where um I get carried away once if I like something I get very consumed by it. And and yeah. But I also can't control myself. I have a lot of self control. Yeah. Well, I have some time on my hands when I don't have Eva. When because my work, even when I work, it's only like three hours. Um hi Gil. It's only like three hours at a time, although it is hard work. All right, so Wendy, oh, I'm already removing it. Um, <laughs> that's me, you know, moving real fast all the time, okay? <laughs> all right, Wendy's in at 42. I'm putting it in her bag already. <laughs> We're not done yet. <clears throat> it's not funny. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, somebody else might jump in, but it was just, it was just Wendy and Lois, and Lois went out. I do have some things left here. I don't know if there's anything in particular you're interested in, Gail. Um, I sold a lot of the world juicy things. Um, <laughs> juicy. I had a few juicy items tonight. So one to Don Hudson. That makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm kidding. She has she has a lot of jewelry. That's why I said that. Like fantastic um jewelry. Yeah, I move a little too fast, and I try to control myself. That's why I use my daughter's sand timer. She let me use it. I need a normal one, and I don't know how to put the clock up in the corner. Seven pounds, say five. The baby's at eight pounds. He's um, that's what he was born at. He he lost a little bit of weight because breastfed babies typically do, but he's back up. All right, thank you, Wendy, and thank you for your bids, ladies, and. Thank you, Barb, for helping keep me under control. Keep me under control like I'm a beast. Um, I don't know if there's anything you wanted in put anybody. If there's anything anybody wanted to see that maybe if you just stepped in, you can ask me. Um, but I may have sold it. These are nice, and I lowered the bid on them. Um, thank you again. Did I say thank you? Yeah, I did. To both of you. And congrats. These are nice, and I lowered the bid on them. I was a bit crazy at first because I really liked them. Um, <laughs> I do that. If I like something, I, I I don't know. I'm starting them at $30 now. These are signed Israel. They're opal. Yes, they are opal. I believe they're called Gilson opal. They're opals in sterling silver. And they're signed 925 Israel. I actually tested them too just to make sure. Um that they were sterling or one and three quarter inches and I'm going to start them at 30 bucks. I had started them a lot higher the first time I decided to come back lower. They're pretty. Yeah, you can see them shine there. Let me put them on here and I can move my phone actually to them. They're lovely. Double rings. Or wait, one, two, three rings. Here's the signature on the back. It says Israel and 925. Did I tell you guys how long they were? Probably three times, right? Um, 
one and three quarter inches. These are lovely. These were a good find as well, I thought, because um, Israel seen the signature on their, um, I, I don't find a lot of jewelry made in Israel. So Lewis is at 32. And Lori now is at 34. They shine nice. Am I too close? Let me move them back a little bit. Yeah, they're lovely. They're, they're a nice pair of earrings. Janda's out. Janda, your picture looks different. Did you change it? Or maybe not. Is that a new panda? <laughs> Lewis is at 36. You guys can see them while we're going to move them around. And There's the back with the signatures on both of them. All right, so we've Lois at 36 with Lori ear out. So Lois was bidding. Is that the only other person that was bidding on them? I think so. They are beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Is that how I say it? No, I say beautiful, not booty. But they are pretty. They're nice quality airing as well. Um, they look hammered almost. Okay, I thought you changed your picture. I noticed odd details on, not odd, but I noticed details on things. I'm a detail person. Unusual things, like if somebody says how tall they are at any point, I tend to remember that. Just weird things. Um, okay, Lois, this is the first thing for you, Lois, right? Sorry. <clears throat> I'm getting, getting tired. I think it's the first thing for Lois today. Beautiful. I say beautiful with a, it sounds like a Y at the end of it. I, I always have never realized I said it wrong. It, that was 36, right? Yeah. Until on here, um, somebody said, oh, I really love the way you say that. And, um, <laughs> and I was like, well, what, you know, I don't, I don't say it weird, you know, and, and it, everybody was agreeing with me. I got of my kids, except for the middle one who she's brutally honest. She was like, um, told me how I pronounce it incorrectly. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I start feeling weird about a bit of this when it is everybody um, talks differently. And I did try changing it to beautiful, but I like beautiful better. So I kept it. I have these big, ugly, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> these big loose side earrings. Anybody interested? Probably not. All right. I had a green loose side necklace, a check glass. Let me show you the check glass. Pittsburghies. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. None of my kids say it like that. They all say it right. Um, I don't know why I say it like that. Um, speech. I took speech in class, and I'm honestly self... I'm not going to get into details, but I'm self-taught a lot um, <laughs> throughout my life. I was self-taught largely. This says check back there. Um, yeah, the C Z E C H. Yeah, there's the whole, the marking on it. That's the back, and it this clasp is good. I just unplugged it. The, it's a little different. It's it's lovely. Yes. It's Czechoslovakia, I guess. Is that, um, you know, that's what that's to shorten it short of that, right? I don't know if that means something else. But this is, this is a brooch, obviously. It's number six. Um, I was starting this at 30. Number six on the sheet. Um, it's two and one quarter inches this way. It's very, it's lovely, actually, I think. And these are the glass. It kind of looks like the glass that was on the back of my spider. I started the spider higher than this. 
I really didn't want to get rid of the spider. That was the thing. I was just trying to beef up some of my inventory. So I grabbed them off the back and then I started regretting it. This is pretty though. It has a brass finish. I don't quite know. Yeah, this one's okay. What's weird about it is like it's it opens like midpoint like that. And I'm not used to that. And then you turn it down. Like you turn it up halfway to open it. Usually, you know how it's all going in at the bottom. You have one of these, but it's broken. You fix jewelry, don't you? Maybe you don't. I could be wrong. I know some people, there are people on here that do. Um, I'm trying to learn. But there's that. 30 bucks. I'm going to turn my sand over and this is nice. I can't remember people. See that? <laughs> I must knocked it over. They're nice. They're multicolored. It's definitely glass. It's not it's not stone. Um Oh, you don't fix stuff. I thought you did. I don't know why. Sorry. I'm gonna try. My one daughter bought me a kit um to repair. I have been able to repair a couple clasps. Uh, that's about the extent of it. Um, but it makes it easy to little uh, tools. Um, I it's just like sitting there. I I don't know the terminology for everything. Hi, Lauren. Um, you see how it's sat for in there i i'm sorry bezel set what do you mean how is it set um it's not quite it's not pronged it's like sitting on top of a plate type thing see that it is down in there a little bit but i don't know i guess maybe it's i don't know are they possibly glued in there i don't know it's nice though it's a nice perch i don't think anyone's interested in it though that's okay i i like to check things I think it's nice. I just thought I'd offer it. Yeah, I need to get paint um, to repair a Florenza necklace I want to sell, but it's, um, oh, metal holding it. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, don't recognize all of those uh, parts of this. Um, it's a very lovely brooch, though. Thank you. I'm going to pass on it since nobody wanted it. Not because it's an early piece. If anybody wanted it, they can still have it at 30 bucks. It just doesn't seem that anybody wants it. What am I going to show next? I have some copper. I have a bracelet. Um, let me remove that. Guys, probably had enough of it. This is nice. This piece here. Now... I don't know a lot about coral, okay? I I have coral on my earrings, and there's a piece of coral. There. But I'm not, I have no idea about it. And this, it kind of, it feels like glass. Now, I don't know, so does this, because they made it into a form. I mean, it looks like coral to me, but at the same time, this feels like glass, so I can't necessarily say it's coral. I'm not going to. These are peridot chips, and these are pearls, fresh water. And that's sterling, this piece. I tested it. These pieces in here, that's not sterling. I couldn't test these. I didn't want to scratch the, the stones, but I'm suspecting they're not. This part is. Let me see how much I was saying for this because I'm probably going to lower it. Because um, I realized after the fact. Yeah. Um, I'll say $20. We have the pearls, the peridot chips, and... I mean, you guys, anybody that knows coral well, it shouldn't feel like glass, right? I mean, it's a, like a more porous type of thing. I don't think that's real. Okay. If it is, it is, but I, it feels like glass, like I said. So 20 bucks, possibly coral, possibly not. See the question mark there. And I lowered the price. Um, right, let me give you a measurement on it. It is, it's seven and a quarter inches on that. This piece is sterling. It's one of those cool 
pull-outs. It's a nice bracelet, I think. Yeah, it's like shell. Yeah. Okay, maybe it is shell then. Um, it looks like coral, though, doesn't it? They kind of made it look like it's coral, don't you think? But it's it doesn't look like it after, you know, I've read up on it a little bit there. And, but this is Peridot and that is Pearl. It's a nice bracelet, I think. Nice combo. Seven and a quarter inches on that. Turn every little thing and wait for the minute. I'm getting to the end of my stuff. I have two Russian brooches I'll pull out. Another sterling bracelet that I think is cool. You think? I just don't know about the texture of it. It looks like it, though. Look at it. So maybe 20 bucks is too low. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, it looks like it to me, but then I was, I thought the texture was different, but I'm not an ex, you know, I don't know. I've never owned, like, I want to buy a big coral necklace the next time I see somebody selling it. They always go so high in price, though, that I'm not comfortable. Yeah, I think it's a nice bracelet. The combination's um, nice. I like it. Yeah, these are real. These are, look. They look fresh. They're fresh water. Yeah. I was trying to see if, like, they are real. And this is Peridot. Yeah, I'll show the cocker next. I have a cocker bracelet and a Brit pin. Might sell them together. All right, so 20 bucks is a real steal on coral pearls and peridot then. I think it is. It's a bracelet, seven, what did I say, seven and a quarter inches. I just don't know coral. I was I was afraid to say it's real. That's why I said I don't know. I mean, and at that price, um, yeah, I, I guess somewhere in the past on this, I don't think anybody's interested in this one. I like it, the, actually, honestly, I'll, I'll wear that. Um, I liked it. Okay. Let me, I'll show the copper together. I have two of them. Um, a bracelet. This is, let me show it to you. Um, copper bracelet, eight inches. This is eight inches. It has a big, a big, uh, a nice, like, opens and closes nicely. And it's marked copper on there. You can see that pretty right. It's eight inches on this, right? So then I said, yeah. I'll start for um, the bracelet and a little pin. This is copper as well. This one is um, one and one quarter inch. I'll, I'll start them both at 20 bucks, the copper bracelet and pin. They don't really match, but they're both copper. Let me show you the back. There are no hallmarks besides saying copper on it. I need to clean up a little bit. Um, like if you know how to clean copper, I don't. Never cleaned it before. I could read. I mean, I wiped it, but I didn't try to clean it. Yeah, the f flower pin that's copper and a copper bracelet. Ah, shoot. It's a pansy. I think I called it a leaf. <laughs> Yeah, I did. You saw that on there probably. Um, I was trying to open it. I was going to stick it on here with it. There it is. Oh. Now it's upside down, huh? One second. Oh, spiny coral. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice bracelet. I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the copper, ladies, if anybody wants that for 20 bucks to set. I'm at the very end of my stuff. Um, if anybody comes through and they watch this far on and you see anything you want that I did not sell, I did sell a lot of the items. I mean, more than half of what I brought. I'm at the lower end items. 
but I, I'll turn this over and I'll wait. I move too fast. It's a nice bracelet, I think. I like the clasp on it. It's like a tension clasp. Like you pull it and it, it would be easy to get on, I think. And at eight inches, well, you can put it over your wrist if it's so small. Dawn likes pansies. Maybe I'll send this to her in her uh, package as a gift for that necklace. I don't know what she'll do with it. She'll hang it. Maybe she'll do something with it. I don't know. Does she like copper? I know there's a lady who collect, who likes copper, but it may be copper that's covered with enamel. I have a copper covered with enamel necklace in my purse, actually. I just got it in the mail. My P.O. box. But I don't see any interest in this. All right. We'll pass on it. I might send her that. Too. She has so much jewelry. When somebody has that much, I question, like, should you be sending them anything? But, I mean, it's the thought that counts, right? Okay, guys. <laughs> this is sterling. Now, this is nice to me. I thought this was real nice when I saw it. I think I've I did show this once. It's braided. Like, it's 19 grams of sterling, this. Um, I started at 25. Yeah, I can send it to her with her, that necklace that she got me, um, bought off me. This is a bracelet. It's two and one half inches across. This is number seven. It's a 19 gram sterling braided bracelet. I was going to start it at 25 if anybody's interested. It's two and a half this way. It's a nice bracelet, I think. It's like that piece is braided in there. Um, <laughs> it looks, it's not a necklace. I have it on a tiny neck, a tiny bust. Pro. Oh. I don't know. Maybe this looks manly or something. I think it's nice. I've never worn it yet, though. It's. It's a little loose on me. Um, I could squeeze it probably. Let me set it down. All right. I'll turn this over and I'll wait. It's getting late. We've been on here. Well, only two. We've been on here two hours and 42 minutes, actually. Almost three hours. I'm going to show, I'm going to go through everything I have. It won't take me that long because there's not much left there. I sold a lot of it. Um, if anybody who just joined, if you want to go back and see if there's anything you want, you can ask me, email me or something. Nobody ever makes it through this long if they weren't with you, I don't think, though. I, there may be people that watch a whole auction. I don't know. I couldn't do it. It's hard. <laughs> All right, I don't think anybody wants my braided... What is this? A bangle bracelet? Half of one? All right, I'll probably keep this one. I've tried sewing it twice. I think it's nice to layer with other ones. Um, I'll put it over here with this one. All right, I guess we'll pass on that. It's been long enough, huh? I'm at the bottom of my stuff, guys. Um, I have a long gold tone necklace, a cuff. Yeah, it's it's a nice one. It's it's got some weight to it too. It's a fairly nice bracelet. This is a gold tone vintage. Um, let me show it to you. You're tired. I know everybody's tired. It's late. For I'm almost done. Barb, what time is it for you? Are you okay? I'm always asking Thelma that. She's wow. I only have 16 people in here. I bored everybody to death. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> The good stuff went quick. I, I showed it early. Um, I mean, I think it's the best way to do it because some people can't stay around. But there's this is nice. See those rings on there? Like, there's they're gold balls and they have rhinestones in there. They're all over it. I have this doubled up. Let me show this. This is a 66-inch gold tone necklace that I was starting at um oh good god sorry <laughs> I almost knocked that over again 
Um, I think I'm starting to get tired. I've been up since early. Um, it's a spring ring clasp. And these are all over it. And it's 66 inches, so it's five foot six. I was starting this at 20 bucks if anybody likes it. Let me like double it up there. It's a nice necklace. Nice for layering. You have five foot six inches of uh lovely gold tin with these. What are these called? Balls with rhinestones. <laughs> That's what I call them. It's a nice one. It's very long. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, when it's this late, it gets hard. I did go through a lot of my stuff already. I mean, I'm at the end of my things now. And they probably know that I have people come in and ask me for things that sold. I mean, I have some good stuff I didn't sell. I got to get more active on getting my stuff online. It's hard. But I think this is nice. I always pick up the really long necklace and, and I can't seem to stop myself from doing it. I get a collection of them. I put some of them in my jewelry jars this past time. Yeah, I did the $30 jewelry jars. There were 20 pieces of jewelry in each one, a little bit of sterling. I tried to make, you know, it was all fairly nice stuff, I thought. Wearable. It was a good bargain, I thought. And most of the people of the five I'd heard back from them, they, they seemed to like them. I'm going to turn over my little timer. I think th these are really pretty. But I don't see any interest in that either, not to rush it. But I'm moving through here. I have a pair of abalone earrings. Um, I feel like doing a speed rush. I'm just going to throw everything up in front of you guys and ask me if you like it. Um, big giant pair of lucite earrings. I don't know if anybody would even wear these, but, um, <laughs> kind of nice. All right. I don't see any interest in this one. I do have other things, but I wouldn't pull them out. I'll save them for the buy it now. I'll be having a buy it now sale on Monday. Yeah, I pass on that one. I don't think anybody's interested on that. These, yeah, abalone and sterling earrings. I have these. Let me show these real quick. There they are. Um, these are, where are they? How much was I? $18 starting bid. They're one inches, one inch. And they are marked 925TH. I don't know if that means Thailand. I don't know. And SU in a, uh, in a box. But these are $18 starting bid and they are one one inch. Here's the back. They might go, look like a bullseye or something. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, I had a huge lot of like, I think, no, these may have been from the lot. And this is like the last of the sterling abalone I had. They're pretty. They're pretty airy. Okay, Lori, thank you for coming. Um, I'll be invoicing everybody in the morning before I go to work. Why don't they show how many dislikes you have anymore? Why did they change that? And don't you think, I mean, not that it matters, but don't you think that's kind of odd? I don't know if anybody's noticed that. They're hiding them. Like, I can see it when I go into, um, I use that uh, tube buddy. But you can't see them anymore. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see you again. Um, I'll be back on Monday with a buy it now. I'll try to bring some good stuff. I am going to do a thrifty Thursday too, which is kind of sounds kind of funny, but jewelry at thrift store prices. And it's going to be a buy it now. I'm not going to start the auction at that price. I'm just going to sell them. If anybody's interested, it'll be nice stuff. Um, I, I usually, what I pick up, I think is nice. I mean, my matter of taste may be different. All right. Then other people's, I don't see anybody wanting these little fellas. No, I didn't sell that yet. 
and I was selling this for 20 bucks. Here, let me, there's the earrings if anybody wants those for 18. I didn't call you. I, I did not. If I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I'm sorry. Janda, you want this? Okay, I'll, here's the necklace. If you want this, uh, Calvi, I'll, I'll put it in a bag for you. Just email me your information. I don't think you bought anything else tonight. Um, your YouTube name, your PayPal email address, and the country in which you live. Oh, I can't see the dislike. How many do I have? <laughs> I don't care. I don't even want to know. If I have some, who cares? Right? I mean, oh, we're going to do these for Janda. Okay. And uh, Kavya, if you want it, just tell me. We, we don't even have to reshow that. I'll just put it in a bag for you at uh, $20. It's a nice chain. If you want to see it again, I, I can show it to you a little closer. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. They're nice earrings. These ones are nice. They're in great shape, too, and it's a nice piece of silver. And they're clean. Oh. One. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who it was. Who cares? Yeah, sometimes I wonder about that, but I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. That is true. Who does care? Um, I filled most of my bags up. I think. Oh no, I didn't. Here's some here. All right. Um. Yeah, that's what I feel too. I think it's just people somehow enjoy being rude to other people. I don't know. Hi, Lauren. Um, are you Lauren Regal from over on uh, over on Dawn's page? I never mind. I don't need to know that. Um, <laughs> okay. I think you are. Um, I, I almost like said something I shouldn't have. Um, we have a Santa thing going on. I, hi, sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, who was, did you, did you want this? Um, I've never heard of that other person before. Um, Kevya Sutton. If you're interested in this, let me know. It, it's lovely. Look at the uh, rings there. If not, no big deal. Hi, Lauren. Um, I was trying to look at... Are you a cat on there or something? I, <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Jeanette. I have, these, I have these ladies. Um, let me show them real quick. Why not? They look vintage to me. I don't know how old, but look, it's a nice piece of silver there. It says Sterling on there. But your cat with the hairdo. Yeah, my eyes are, oh, it's cute. My eyes are getting bad. Um, I need stronger glasses. I have a pair coming. But these earrings here are the, what are these? What are these? I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> um, acorn screw back earrings. I'm calling them three quarter inches. They're marked sterling on the ring. You see going around there. And yeah, these were 24. Let me stick them on the tall thing. I need a clear one. This furry one. What well, doesn't look too bad? The, the small one looks nasty. I threw it away. <laughs> well, I didn't throw it away, but it's thrown in my bucket. Yeah, I don't know who that one person was. Um, hmm. I I don't know. I whatever. I can let things bother me. Um, not not the thumb stunt. Something else. I'll mention it later. Not no. No, I didn't sell that. Um. I have these for 24 if anybody likes these. Carol, I didn't sell that. I, I know you. I, I know your name. The other lady didn't answer me about that gold tone necklace. I, I don't I don't know. I've never seen her around. Has anybody else? I mean, not that it matters if she emails me. She can have it. I just don't know who she is. I get paranoid. I, I have somebody that it's personal. I don't want to get into that, especially if they would be on her. I wouldn't want them to hear me. But I, I have somebody who's been pretty nasty to me. <laughs> It's personal. Um, I don't know if they would come in and fake names or whatever. Um, they didn't do anything if they did, but here's that. I didn't sell this. I lowered it. 
I don't remember how much I said I was going to sell this at. <laughs> it's very nice. It's lovely. Um, bar, what did I start at that bar? Did I start this at 20 or 25? I lowered it. That's sterling. This is one of those like cool like things here. And um, trolls. I guess it could be trolls. Um, my I have something personal that goes on in my life. Yeah, Michelle knows about it. I don't want to bring it up like in cause drama in case they're on here. I don't want to hurt anybody any worse that's in my family. But it's family. I have some nasty some family that treats me pretty nasty. Um, which is terrible. Yeah, it's 20 bucks, Carol. You do you like this? If anybody else you can jump in if anybody else is interested if, or not, we'll sell it to you. At that. It's nice. It's well worth that. It's a lovely bracelet. I was gonna keep it, but since you jumped back on <laughs> And want it, you can have it because I did intend on sewing it. Okay, so Carol, I, I know I've I, I know I've sold you before. I recognize your name and everything. The other lady didn't answer me. Huh? Maybe she's thinking about it or emailing me. That could be what's. Yeah, blocking people do that. Um. I've only blocked a couple of people in my time on here. I've been on here nine months now. I try not to, but if, yeah, if somebody's harassing you, you kind of have to. I don't have that problem for the most part. But, Carol, thank you. It's it's a nice bracelet. You're going to like that. All right, so, I, what else do I have I didn't show? I have two brush and brooches I was going to show. Oh, and I was showing these, but I don't think anybody wants these. <laughs> These are vintage. Um, yeah, it is. It's just, I don't know what's. We had an indifference. It's sad. Hi, Ashley. It's, it is sad for me. Um, honestly, I. Uh, sometimes when I see a new name, I just feel like maybe I'm going to get harassed. I get a little bit paranoid. I see other people doing it, too. It's not just me. Other YouTubers, like, they get nervous if they've been harassed on here. Um, but I welcome new people and anybody, obviously. I. Hi, Ashley. Oh, you did get your package? Good, good. Can you guys see? <laughs> I'm slopping up on them. Um, I have them both together. These are two Russian. Look, I'll, they have. They're both signed, and they're both. Let me show them to you separately. I'm being lazy. Um, I think I'm starting these at 38 together. Just hand paint it, and they have a paper. Like I don't know how they do that, but they put a safety pin in there. That's how a lot of them are made. Here they are. There's, um, it is a two and one quarter inch and a two and one half inch here. 38 for both, if anybody's interested. There's the man and woman there. And this one is a man and woman with three horses. I, I'm sure these are saying some kind of little story that I have no idea what. But they have, they have signatures on them as well. And they're lacquered. Hand-painted. I think it's hard holding them. I, some people are so steady. Like somebody on Stevens, like super steady. I, I, he probably could have been a surgeon. <laughs> they're nice. They're nice. This one's really pretty. I mean, they're both nice. But I've, I like the horses on this one. Yeah, th thank you. Um, it's been rough. I, I'd never been on YouTube before. I've mentioned that before. Before I started doing this, it was all new to me. It's I like it. I enjoy it. It fills up a, my, a lot of my time. And I'm hoping that this becomes a not, not just selling hair on YouTube. I'm trying to learn the jewelry. And, um, and I'd like to make it my career. And um, there's a lot to learn. I get a lot of help from a lot of people. 
you know, they I watching, even watching, like I go to Don Hudson's and Adrian's, I watch their auctions and um and Thelma. I've learned a lot from Thelma too. So and I watch I've, I've other people, Gina, I learn from Gina, I learn from everybody. I'm a details person. I don't know if you can tell. And I am getting more comfortable. Yeah, I'm thankful for it. When I first come on, if you go back and look at my old, old videos, whew, my Lord, I I didn't know what I was doing. It was, And I was terrified, honestly, and very self-conscious. I've gotten a lot better. It is a great community. I've made a lot of, um, I've made friends on here, I feel like, and, and a lot of people have been very kind to me. And I honestly, be quite honest, not to pity myself. I'm not used to that. I grew up in a little bit of a rough uh, upbringing where there aren't very many kind people. Not to say that people weren't. I, I love my family, but things were tough. And it's changing for me. I, I mean, my children and so forth. I mean, I have a lot of family. Yeah, the camera thing, sometimes, I don't think anybody wants these. Um, I'm going to remove them. Sometimes I feel like really uncomfortable when it gets too close up in the wrong angle. Yeah, it makes you feel... Um, it does make you feel a little self-conscious, you know, because everybody's it's all detailed around beauty in our society, and yet youth, we're all aging. It is easy to be kind. That's what I always say. I was telling my oldest daughter that when she was telling me things that were going on in her son's school, like kids teasing other kids, like a poor kid that's in his class was getting teased, um, couldn't afford a Halloween costume or something like that. And I was like, you know, I don't understand why you know because i always push to my children be kind if you see somebody being made fun of talk to them you know somebody doesn't have a friend and i was like why don't other people teach your kids and she's like not everybody's kind and that's true <laughs> but it is easy i think to be kind easier for me to be kind than it is to be mean overall everybody can have mean moments and says mean things i mean we're human but there are some people who are just downright nasty this, <laughs> I don't know. I like this. That's tacky, right? Um, <laughs> I think it takes, takes a lot more energy to be ugly, too. Not for everybody, though. Apparently, some people, they live and breathe hate. Um, I've seen it. Isn't that nice? I mean, maybe not. <laughs> it's a green necklace. Um, 15 bucks. I think it's Lucite. You know, I still struggle with Lucite. And I... Does that sound like Lucite, ladies? <laughs> I still struggle. It's very light. And it's, I don't know. I afraid to call it Lucite, but I think it's Lucite. It's a green uh, plastic necklace. Looks like, feels like Lucite to me. I think it's pretty cool. But I'm almost done here. I only have an amethyst bracelet. Um, I sh everything else I showed, I'm not going to re show anything. And it's getting late. Yeah, I think um, I have a nice one and I haven't pulled it down yet. I saw Adrian sell one on a ribbon. I have one that looks just like that. It's over on my one shelf. I have to pull it down and I was going to like iron the ribbon, which might sound insane, but it's wrinkled. But so the loose site has a certain sign to it. Um, yeah, you have to be nasty sometimes. I don't like to be, though. I feel really bad about that. I learned that if somebody's too miserable and ugly to you, um, I just don't talk to them. That's what's happened in my life. I just shut them out. That's what you have to do. Because the more, the more you let somebody anger you, the more... Um, it causes another reaction, you know. Like when you say something rude, they say something back, causes a reaction in you, you react to them, and it goes on in a nonstop cycle of hate. So I seriously have learned to walk away, which is hard for me, especially when it's somebody you're close to, like especially family or like it's your family. It does not matter if they're just nothing but hideous to you. You can't live like that. I can't be insulted all the time because I'm trying to live. You know what I mean? Or trying to make my life better. I shouldn't be put down because I'm trying to improve my life. I have an 11 year old that I have to take care of. So I've got to, but I like this and I honestly, I may wear it. Kind of tacky, I know, but I thought it was cool. That's basically it, lady. Oh, I have, oh, I'm sorry. Look at me. Okay. 
it's nice. It looks pretty cool. Um, I, I think I saw Barbara. She was looking for a bracelet to match a necklace. I think I saw that. It's a, it's 18 inches with a three inch extender on it. And it's different colors. Like I like it. I don't know if I don't have any earrings to match it, but it's pretty nice. How do you, I, my thing is sometimes I do struggle with loose sight and determining, um, Oh, hi, Thoma. Hi, hi. You, did, you and Lewis, Lewis said the same thing at the same time. So when I saw that, I was like, wait, I didn't even notice um, <laughs> that was Le, uh, Thoma saying that. Yeah, it's. I think it's really cool. So I, um, whatever, I'm okay with not sewing it. Um, I am going to pull the white one done at some point. Yeah, that was funny. When I saw it come up twice. I was like, well, I thought Lois said that. And then I saw, um, yeah, I, I thought so too. Plus it's a really nice texture and it's, I like the way it sounds. That sound, I like that. Um, I'm almost out guys. I've shown you basically everything. I have this, this is a handmade bracelet. Just, I'll show this. Um, see it's glass, little glass seed beads i think they call those but this is amethyst and white quartz on there it's nice it measures um i didn't sell my bakelite i'm really surprised nobody bought that at that price um maybe i guess because you can get them cheaper when you're looking for stuff yourself oh wait hold on um six and one half to seven inches see this it's handmade it's one of those ones you stick in there who wants the green one you can have it i'm fine with that i'm surprised uh, i mean not surprised i'm happy somebody else liked that you can have it i i honestly probably yeah yeah green loose sight um i never would wear it probably to be honest i would leave it hang and admire it though i do occasionally get my jewelry out and play with it <laughs> I think all, all people do that. Yeah, let me show that in a minute. Let me put this in Carol's bag. It's a nice necklace. I have a big, beautiful white one up there. I'm going to pull it down at some point. It's loose sight. It's really, really cool. It has, like, they look like huge, like, chandelier pieces, but loose sight. I thought this was nice. Um, Hold on. I'm going to button it. Thank you, Carol. All right, Kavya, did you want the other necklace too, or just this? I do. I play in mine. I have an Italian jewelry box in my bedroom that I actually find in a thrift store. All right, all right, you can have this. Um, Savia, did you email me yet? Kavya, I'm sorry, I'm calling you the wrong name now. Um, Kavya. If you haven't emailed me, email. This is nice. It's handmade. You have the quartz, um, amethyst, and the white quartz. Yeah, I've got to play in what's in this room and make some sense out of it after I get shelving behind me. It's getting, it looks bad in here. All right. Um, I don't see anybody else wanting this. So, Calvia, email me if you haven't. I haven't been able to check my email. I'm on my phone. Laptop's beside me. But I'll put it in a bag for you. Thank you. I didn't know if you wanted this thing too, um, this thing, this necklace. If you did, you didn't say you did. Maybe you didn't like the way it looked after you saw it. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'll put that in the bag for you. In. Yeah, you can, I can imagine you two have a lot of jewelry. I planned on my sister. We planned on someday we'd live together. She's still married. Um, I'm not, but she is. Um, I don't know if it'll ever happen, but that's what we thought we would live together someday. Um, we're fighting now. Hopefully that changes. Um, not fighting, just not talking. 
This is rose quartz on leather for 10 bucks. It's eight inches if anybody likes it. I can buy it now if anybody's interested. Um, I love jewelry boxes too. I have a thing for jewelry boxes, Japanese, Italian. Yeah, that was our plan. She's been married 30 some years already. She's like a year and a half older than me. She's been married since she's been 18. Same man, of course, um, a lifetime. They've had a lifetime together. This is a nice rose quartz on. I didn't test that to see if it's sterling. I don't think it is, but I don't know. But it's on leather. It's a pretty little bracelet. I haven't had any trolls, guys. Um, I mean, not to say that and, hey, let's... Uh, curse myself but we're almost done it's 11 three hours this feels like a long time when you're alone this is pretty it's not a it's not it's it is quartz i tested it and you can just tell by phone and look and it's it's cute eva would probably like something like that actually if i don't sew it i can give give it to my my baby no it's way too big actually this is an eight incher that's even too big for me. Um, I do too. I, I get lonely. Um, honestly, I, I hate to really say it. I, 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 not that I want doted to and stuff, but I'm used to having somebody do things for me. If you know what I mean? Like, like if I need, I need something fixed or something, you know, um, <laughs> it sounds terrible. I mean, I miss that being taken care of to a degree um but i i do enjoy it at this time too i kind of need to be single because of eva and that'll change at some point all right i don't think anybody wants it it's nice it's too big for eva it's eight inches um i do have a big light i tested it in my video i'm we're gonna pass on oh carol this one is eight inches let me double check that I have, do have a nephew who will do things for me. Um, he, but I feel bad calling him, like, if that's the only thing I'm going to bother him for is, hey, I need something fixed. I mean, honestly, not that I'm helpless, but I, I'm used to, like, having somebody do things for me, you know. And I do miss that, like, if some change in my oil and things like that. Filling it, filling my tires. <laughs> that's what the husbands do for the wives, usually. Um, eight inches here. Yeah, or you can pay for it. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten used to it. My middle daughter does. She's, she can build furniture and stuff like that, so I can always bring her for that. She's the one that works with me. Okay, I don't think anybody's interested in this. Um. Oh, here's the Bakelite, uh, Pamela. I know your name. I don't know if you've ever bought it off of me, but this is it. I tested it in my video. I know how to fill the tires. I did learn how to do that. I put oil in my own car. I can fill it. I can't change it. I, I paid for that today. But I can do the air in the tires. It's pretty easy. You're married, though, aren't you, Barb? Get your husband. To do <laughs> I'm good. All right. Let me give you a measurement on this in case you're interested. Two and three quarter inches. And I was starting this at 65 bucks, which for this... If you want to go back and look at the video and contact me, I may sell it at that. I may sell it more. Um, so you can see me testing it. I don't have the stuff to test it in front of me here. Two and three quarter inches. I test it with baking soda and water on a cute. Oh, you are single. Okay, so. Yeah, this filling the tires can be challenging. But the one at the place where I'm at, it tells you, you push the, how high you want it to go up and it does it. And you can find the where your tires should be on the inside of your door. My daughter told me that. But yeah, sorry, two and three quarter inches on this. Here it is on, I'm six inch. So that's, this could fit up. If you want to go back and look at me test it, is that what you're saying? You can. Uh, in my preview video, um, hi, hi, Bessie. Um, I, uh, I, I tested this. Okay. Do you want this? The 65 you're saying? It's worth that. I think this is a couple hundred dollar bangle here, but I've had it. It was my first piece of Bakelite that I got out of a 
Shop Goodwill bag. I made a lot of money off of that bag. Okay, I'll let you have it at that 65. Thank you, Pamela. I've seen you around, I know that. Um, in other in other auctions, I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah, I just need your PayPal email, your YouTube name, and the country in which you live, so I know um, how to, uh, you know, how, to, how much um, shipping to put on it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I've had that for about six months. I'll take it offline. It is a great price, but, you know, I, I, I probably can't dime for it, so enjoy that. And if you resell it, I hope you make some money. Um, <laughs> That Goodwill bag was a really good, um, really good deal. I had a Shriner's birch in there that was missing one gem, one, uh, one stone, not a gem. Jeweler scared me and said it could have been a gem, but it wasn't. I looked at it again. It's a rhinestone. Turn upside down. Um, Rivoli, I guess it is. I think I tried selling this thing before. It's late. I guess I can end it at that, huh? Unless there was anything anybody had, um, did anybody else ask me to see anything here? Um, I hope not. It, we've been on here over three hours, though, and I said three hours. I did. There was a few things I didn't sell. I didn't sell this. This is that's a puffy heart in in freshwater pearls. This is sterling. I didn't sell that. There's a number of things I didn't sell. If you want to look through the video, you can. A Monet. I had a Cornelian and Sterling necklace that I started really cheap and didn't sell. I think it's Cornelian, right? It's a stone. It's not amber. It's a stone. I test her on gem tester, but I know it's not glass. That's all I can tell you. It looks like Cornelian with an Italy Sterling chain. I think I started that really low. I don't remember how low. 20. Um, 30. I don't know. It may have been lower. <laughs> I, can't, I don't remember if I lowered it or not. But I didn't sell that. And there's some other things, too, if people would want to go back. Monet dangle air tassels. Um, a Trafari Lucite necklace that I think I was selling for 30 There's a number of, and, oh, and this fantastic set that made, um, this made Dawn say, ooh, if you guys know <laughs> Hey, Don Hudson, this is Colleen Tolan's set. Lovely. I was selling it for 75 It's worth a lot more. Um, the pearls I was doing for, um, I lowered them. Let me look for you. The sterling, pearls and sterling heart, I lowered, I, 25 I was doing that for. It has a little puffy heart that's on this end for some reason. I don't know if you're supposed to wear it there. They're freshwater, and these are sterling, too. I had trouble scraping them, but I did scrape um, one of them. That was 25 for the pearls and sterling. This is Colleen Toland. I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but she's uh, up and coming. Um, I don't know how long she's been out. It's a lovely set. Tassel, like the earrings are dangles, not tassels in that necklace. This was 75 This is lovely. This is layered with the uh, brass hair has glass strung on there. But yeah, that was lovely. That was my highlights of what I didn't sell. Um, this is beautiful. And 75 bucks, it's well worth. I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but you might want to look her up. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Which one do you want? The heart, Claudia? You're the one of this. Okay, the puppy heart for 25 I don't know if I've sold you before. If I haven't, email me down here. Probably heard me saying this five times. Um, um, oh, I need your PayPal email, your YouTube name, and the country in which you live. That's it. So 25 for the pearls and puffy heart. It's a nice, it's a nice necklace. This one's really lovely. I think I'm going to wear this. I might wear a purple for Christmas and <laughs> um, it's nice. At least once. It's like in brand new pristine condition. And if um, I don't know a whole lot about her, I have to look her up. Um, I do, do know enough to know that her jewelry is a little higher end than um, it's, an, it's nice. All handmade. All right. I got that heart for you. 
Um, did I put it away? No. Okay. All right. I guess that's it, guys. Um, thank you, Claudia. Yo, um, yeah, I think it's, it's lovely. I think it would look really nice. Even if I, I'm not much of like dress, but I could wear a nice shirt with it and, um, a pair of dress pants. I really like it. Her jewelry's nice. Check her out if you guys haven't seen her yet. I've never heard of her. And when I saw it, I figured it was something good, but, um, I didn't know, I didn't know anything of her until I started looking up. Yeah, Thanksgiving, um, I'll spend it with my children and the, or the new baby and, and Leo if he doesn't go um, to, her, to, her dad, to his dad's house. He might want to go there. Colleen Tolan, T-O-L-A-N-D, Colleen. She has a lot of handmade. You'll see these. Um, I didn't see this one exactly, but it's like the dangles, and I think that's loose sight on there. I, I, st I can't stop dye in my hair at this point because of my yeah thank you claudia you're and you're welcome my roots are growing out now um because I'm, I'm 53 didn't feel like that was gonna uh, happen too fast you too lauren thank you i'll probably see you if you go to dawn's auctions over there on wednesday i'll see you guys there there's this but i'm not gonna sell anymore <laughs> i think i did enough and it's late and Barb's very tired. And if you're still here, Thelma, have a good night. Everybody have a good night. I guess I will let you guys go now since it, it's nearly, it's 11.16. Thank you, Lauren. If it does fade fast, I I do pretty good with it, though. I use the gray resistant. I could buy it at Sally's. I do it myself. It's cheap. I need a haircut, though. You should have seen my hair in my picture today. I'd show at one of my videos, I'll pull out and show you guys without showing you my, you all my identifying information. <laughs> I'll show you the comparison between my pictures. Oh my God. Just so terrifying. Four years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get off of here. Um, four years went fast, but the weight gain, my head, my face looks different. It's just bizarre. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I think I'm still fairly attractive, but I definitely look different than what I used to over the last four years. Thank you for coming, everybody, and for those of you that stuck out. Thank you for your help, Barb. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll be on again doing, I have a haul video I'll be doing in a day or two. I'm waiting for a shop Goodwill bag that has some good-looking things in it. I'm hoping. I saw coins. I don't know what quality of coin jewelry it is. Thank you, Lewis. Um, but, and there's a snake bracelet that I'm excited about in there, too. So I'll be doing that whenever I get it. And I'll probably thrift again. All right. Good night, guys. And happy Thanksgiving for who I don't see again. I'll be saying it again in a video before then. Yeah, thank you. I, it was very helpful. Um, Yeah, I don't know. And we didn't get harassed. All right, let me get off her. I, we didn't get harassed. I've seen a lot of people really get harassed. I'm glad I was not one of them tonight. <laughs> Thumb I have on your fetish beer turquoise earrings tonight. All right, I'm going to get off here. I'll talk to you guys later. I am going to go for real. Can you imagine if people, when they watch this? <laughs> okay, Anna's crazy. All right.